Hello, hello, hello everyone. Good evening. <laughs> How's everyone doing tonight? Oh, Julia is number one. Yes, yes. Purple hearts. God bless. God bless. Robin, number two. Hey, PG in chat. Hey, Robin. How you doing tonight, sweetie? And Julie is number three. She said, did you guys listen last night? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> I personally spent the evening with my man, but... <laughs> right? <laughs> but I had to catch up on it today because I didn't have a choice. <laughs> I had so many people hitting me up with it, so <laughs> I had to go take a look at it, right? <laughs> Sad, but true. <laughs> Sad, but true. <laughs> but you number three, girl. You number three tonight. Patty, you, <laughs> you slid in fourth. That's still good. Good evening. Good evening to you, hon. Good evening to you. How you doing, Lady Q? Good evening. <laughs> she says, hey, everybody. Hey to you. And Mara, how you doing tonight, sweetie? How you doing, Karen? Steph, how you doing tonight, sweetie? Let me get down through here. Oh, there's Sugar Boom Boom. How you doing tonight? APG and all in chat. Much love. Much love to you. Much love to you, hon. Hello, Ronald. How you doing tonight? He says, hello, everyone. Hello to you. Let's get on down through here. Deputy Sheriff, how you doing tonight, sweetie? He's the... He is uh, being kind to Steph. That's beautiful. Okay. Um, oh, that's sweet, Ronald. Um, precious me, 35. I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for asking, my friend. Much love. Oh, that's so sweet. That is so sweet. How you doing tonight, Blessed? Hey, PG and chat. Much love. Much love to you. Much love to you, hon. Um, how you doing, Tammy? Deputy Sheriff. Ah, uh, hello, my friend. Much love. Much love. Ivory says, hello, PG and chat. All you wonderful mods. Amen. Yes, we do got wonderful mods. God bless. Um, anyway, yeah. There you are, Lisa. There you are, girl. Hey, PG in chat. Prayers for PG and kiddos and summer. Amen. Um, anyway, I wanted to, uh, yes, yes, I did uh, get an opportunity to see somewhat of what was going on last night. Um, like fucking gag me, right? Uh, disgusting. Um, well, let me tell you. <laughs> uh, big daisy cow, <laughs> right? Big daisy cow. Um, <laughs> uh, what happened to, I ain't like PG, I am not going to put no cash app up for nobody like the way she did for Allie, right? <laughs> oh, shit. Daisy Cow. Candace's cash app was all up in your chat last night, right? <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. Right? Yep. Yep. That butt sucker put up Candace's cash app. 
<laughs> All right. Number one, main suspects put up the cash app. Why? 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 I tell you why. To keep them in there, right? That's what it was. Keep them in there. She put it up to keep her click likes and views to keep to try to get people in there. You know, she wants to appease the whales. We seen who? Cher do it. <laughs> Where's Cher at? Rolled off the hill. Um, Benny Keys do it. Where's Benny at? Rolled off the hill. <laughs> right? You know, Cam and Allie. Mm-hmm. Where are they at? Rolled off the hill. Yeah. Daisy Cow followed suit, right? Same shit, different day. New creator. <laughs> there you go. I gotta say, man, Don and Candace, they know how to they know how to beat the drum and play the fiddle. <laughs> right? I gotta give them that. <laughs> I gotta give them that shit. <laughs> Cracks me up. <laughs> and she didn't only give them a cash app, but she gave Candace a wrench. Oh, say anything about summer. <laughs> hey, Candace, where's summer? <laughs> what happens? What happens, folks? <laughs> hey, you block, <laughs> right? Your ass is blocked. <laughs> uh, Daisy going to have her whole freaking chat block by the time Candace gets them, right? They going to all have their asses blocked. <laughs> What about that timeline, Candace? Block. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, this summer's the victim. Block. <laughs> yeah, that's what's happening over there. <laughs> that's what's happening over there. You know, Daisy and, Daisy and, you know, her, her band of demons, they all puckered up and kissing hard, right? They kissing hard on the Wells backside. I'm like, damn. They're going to leave some fucking hickeys back there. Right? They suck it up so hard. Unbelievable. But. <laughs> it's, it is what it is. Right? It is what it is. I have to crack up. I can't help it. That was rolling. I was like, damn, them wells are good. They are good. They getting supported. Hmm. Candace must have told Daisy. You know, I ain't coming on there and watch you make all the money, bitch. <laughs> right? I ain't coming on there and watch you make all the money. Actually, Daisy's cash app went through. Last night. It don't only go across the screen, right? It don't only run across the screen. The 555 cash. Different ways you can give her money. But it was in the chat like 80 fucking times. Candace, your cash app only went through like four times. To Daisy's 80. <laughs> I don't think that's fair. <laughs> you asked me. That wasn't fair. I mean, if Daisy's going to throw her cash up in there 80 times, she needs to be putting Candace's cash up in there 80 times too, right? Probably 85. Because if it wasn't for Don and Candace, she wouldn't be getting the click, likes, and views. Come on, bitch. Be get real. <laughs> right? Get real. Put that cash up out there. You're going to help, help. Don't sit around and try to do a little bit. I mean, shit. Don't eat a five-course meal and give Candace and Donna a bowl of cereal. What the fuck? She treating them like the way they treated their kids. <laughs> right? <laughs> that shit cracks me up. Oh, you don't get no, you don't get no milk in that cereal, Don. You got to put water in that bitch. <laughs> you get the cereal. No milk. Daisy milking that kale.
Yeah. You know, she's sitting over there wanting everybody to, su to support what? Two suspects. And, you know, and, I, and, I, and I'm not going to lie. I seen them flocking in. All right. I seen them flocking in. I mean, people were flocking in for people to, you know, say they support Summer. And Summer's the real victim. Summer's supposed to be the real victim. I seen these people flocking in. Right? I mean, when Don was on that panel, I mean, it was a crowd in there. A big crowd. And, you know, he talked about religion. Right? He talked about um, a lot of things. But he talked very little about summer, right? Very little about summer. Um, to what I took note. To what I took note. He talked very little about his daughter. Uh, let me take a... Yeah, Daisy was preaching last night. You know how how everybody should um should be you know for the whales. Everybody should support the whales. Um, kiss the whales' ass instead of supporting the real victim, Summer Moon Utah whales. Right? I mean, the whales were the ones that put Summer in the dark to begin with. Dom wanted to bring all that shit out about his sisters to get the focus off his daughter. Right? He wanted to he wanted to throw out Mr. Dobbs. He wanted to throw out, you know, all these things. All these things he wanted to throw out there. But he didn't want to talk about his daughter. No more than he wants to talk about his daughter now. You know, like he said last night, well, you know, Daisy's hollering, this stuff don't belong out here on YouTube, <clears throat> right? Keeping the focus on the wells because law enforcement, they're the main suspects. We shouldn't be doing that, folks. We shouldn't be keeping our focus on where law enforcement's got their focus, 110 Ben Hill Road. Right? Oh, no. We shouldn't be doing that. <clears throat> Even though Daisy and Christina was doing it. For a month. Right? For months, Talking about how, you know, how Dawn, I think it was Christina, Daisy, and Robin were the ones saying that you know, they believe Donald did bad things to his daughter. And maybe even the other children, right? All of that shit originated over there on their channel. We had people come here on this channel and want to start saying stuff like that. We said, oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. This ain't for Don Wells' sake. This is for Summer's sake. For her brother's sake, if you don't have proof of something like that, you don't bring it here. Without proof, I'm not going to say that. We kept it clean, right? I said, I don't think that's Don Well's M.O. I don't, you know, he's not, it's just not him or what he does. I mean, stepsisters, stepsisters. Yeah, I can believe that because, you know, that's Donald's frame of mind. Well, they're not no blood of mine, but his own sister said, hey, no, he didn't do this. His daughter, no, he didn't do this. You know, even though his wife, Pam, was supposedly saying that, yeah, he did to all these people. His daughter said no. She recently came out and said no. His son said, no, 
So, you know, there's nothing there to lead me to believe that he would have done something like that. And, you know, unless there's something there to lead us to believe it, we're not going to say it. That's disgusting. That is absolutely disgusting. But Daisy, Robin and them, they were over there, you know, turning old Don into a full-fledged, you know, RSO, right? Not only on his stepsisters, but on his daughter that is missing right now. Right? But they apologize. They apologize after, you know, 20 months of doing that shit. And a couple weeks of thinking they can get a lot of click likes and views and a ton of shit ton of money on having the wells up on their panel. You know, the big bang hit. And they have changed their minds and apologized. Um, No, it don't work that way. Them mother freaking, that cow is a scammer just like Ernie. And her sister's a big scammer as well. Right? Bunch of fucking scammers. They sell their fucking mother for a nickel. For real. I truly believe that. They sell their own freaking mother. Those people are awful. It's all about the dollar. You know, they turned on Summer's back for Jackson. Right? For George Washington. Right? For Grants. So, you know, over here, I tell it the way it is. I don't care if people like it. They don't like it. You know, that's too fucking bad. That's too fucking bad. Scratch their ass and get glad, right? Because I don't care. I don't care. It would be a cold day in hell before I turn on summer. For any reason. There will be no reason. That I ever turn on that baby's back. Like them motherfuckers did over there. I'm telling you now. And I'm telling you the truth. Don and Candace Wells. Don, Candace and Grandis are the main suspects. In Summer's disappearance. Law enforcement said. Everyone's a suspect and they're not kicking open anyone else's door. They're kicking open the wells. Everyone's a suspect. They ain't calling anyone else into TBI and into law enforcement. They're calling in the wells. You know, it is what it is. Every time they want to question someone, it's the wells. Every time they're doing searches, it's in the wells property, the wells area. Come on, folks. If the law enforcement ain't going nowhere else but to 110 Ben Hill Road, that is their main focus. Those are the main suspects. Common sense, right? Common sense. And I'm going to tell you something. It'd be a cold day in hell. I don't kiss nobody's fucking ass. But I tell you what. I sure the hell ain't going to kiss no suspect's ass. For damn sure. And especially suspects that what? That what? Let me give you a rundown on it. i give you a rundown on it right here. I wrote this to Lisa earlier today. Summer's Army does not care what Bob has to say and or 
anyone else has to say. That is bobbing up and kissing the whale's asses. In the eyes of the law, Donald, Candace, and Grandis are the main suspects in this case. This is truth. This is fact. This is a fact and why. Could it be due to the fact that Wells kept telling police where Summer wasn't, leading the police to understand they knew where Summer was? Yes. Did the Wells strengthen that lead for law enforcement by not searching for their missing daughter? Um, not passing out flyers? Not wanting a reward fund once they found out? that they could not obtain it at some point? Yes. Law enforcement definitely took note of this odd and disturbing behavior. Yes, they did. Law enforcement also took note that the Wells lied and refused to give a truthful and clear answers about the three hour timeline in which summer, in which Five-year-old Summer Moon Utah Wells had came up missing within. That is true statement. That is a fact. Also, notes are took upon the fact the Wells have already fought from day one to keep the focus on everyone and anyone but oneself. Right? That's true. The Wells and the Wells ass kissers would like to lead Summer's army into believing there is no facts, but everything above is facts. What I had just said, every statement is facts. Don't tell me there's no facts because all of that was facts. So, you tell me who looks guilty as hell right in this case well tell me i tell you the wells the wells and i said we summer army rest our case right here right now soon law enforcement will rest this case built upon the same facts plus more in a court of law watch and see and you can watch and you will see. So, there you go. Um, you know, Daisy turned on this baby's back. She turned on this baby's back. And, you know, it is what it is. And she can kiss the whale's asses all she wants to. All she wants to, but they will roll her big ass off that hill in due time. Don and Candace knows that nobody has an epitome like Daisy and them are claiming to have. All of a sudden, you know, Don and Candace are not stupid. Trust me. I know. I know they're not fucking stupid. In the least. I mean... Daisy and Jinkies and Christina and Robin, you know, the Wells are laughing their asses off. They're enjoying getting their backsides kissed right now. And these dumb fucks supporting them. That's what they're, they're, they're having a good time. I bet Don's laughing his ass off right now as he listens to this. And Candace is probably chuckling a little bit as well, right? She's chuckling as well. They're saying, damn, fucking PG, right? Fucking PG. Prayer garden. Well, I'm not stupid either. I'm not stupid as well. You know? <laughs> Don and Candace folk know they ain't got a damn thing on me. Not a damn thing. I'm just as fucking, uh... They got to get up early and go to bed late. They'll smart my ass. That's what I got to tell the Wells. I, I am no ass kisser to no fucking suspects. You know, this channel over here is for victims. 
Summer Moon Utah Wells is the victim in this case. Right? She's the victim. Now, Don and Candace are, are laughing. They know that Miss Daisy and them didn't just have this big bang overnight after 20 months of calling this guy a RSO and even on his own daughter and you know and all this nasty shit and you know they did it and Candace is special ed you know that's what Miss Daisy said Candace is special ed and what kind of grandma what kind of grandma you know um, is grandest, right? Not tell them what happened to that baby that day. That she thinks that that baby, you know, something happened at the, at the swimming hole or they left her in a car to die. Yeah. She said all of these ugly things, right? All this ugly shit. And then all of a sudden she's going to have this, this glorious moment. You know, where, you know, the light, the freaking sky lights up and beams down upon them. And all of a sudden, you know, oh, no, we don't think this anymore. I'm um, bullshit. The Wells knows this bullshit, too. And I'm going to tell you what. I'm sure they're, you know, they're like these, these chub rub sisters said a bunch of dirty shit about us. And them nasties they got up on their panel. Right? Them And them butt nasties up on their panel. Sit up there. Said all these ugly things about us for all them months. Let's go and use them up for a while. Let's roll their asses off the hill. You know? Karma's a bitch. Right? Karma's a bitch. There ain't no faster way to destroy a channel. No faster way to destroy a channel, right? Then, 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 for Don and Candace to get them in their pockets, get their support for them, and then roll them off the hill, right? I mean, look at look at Benny's channel. What happened? To it it was going big, right? And now it ain't going at all. Look at, you know, look at Cher. I mean, her shit just, it's done. Right? Look at Cam and Allie. They're over there squabbling for something. They're over there fucking squabbling for shit. Over there making up a bunch of lies and squabbling around. Right? Oh, I'm going to call Donald. You know, hope to get a few bucks in my pocket by doing this. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> let me tell you something. We ain't calling Don and we ain't calling Candace. And I hope I hope to God motherfuckers don't call us. Because they wouldn't like it if they did, right? Come up here and talk about some religion. No, let's not talk about religion, man, when you're fucking the biggest liar and game player on the face of this earth. Don't come up here. Don't crawl up here in the form of a snake and then try to let out some godly stuff, right? Because all you're going to get then is your head stepped on, right? We don't put up with that shit here. We don't put up with that shit here. You know, over on Daisy's channel, it's, you know, what snake can swallow the other snake. Well, I bet you 10 to 1, even though Donald's, you know, Donald's awful small snake, you know, he's going to swallow Miss Daisy whole, right? I think old boy's going to gain a few pounds. <coughs> that snake's going to swallow the other snake in due time. And why? And why? Because... You know, there's an old saying. I don't get mad. I get even. 
And what better way to take them bitches down? All the ugly things they said for months about the wells. What better way to take them down than the way they're taking them down right now? <laughs> right? <laughs> there you go. I got to hand it to Don and Candace. <laughs> they know what the fuck they're doing. And I know what they're doing. Because I sat with them. And this is what the fuck they were doing. Right? I know. Man, they laugh. They think it's the funniest damn thing. They think it's the funniest damn thing. Watch what they do to old Chub Rub sisters. Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm watching it. I'm watching it, and I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. Daisy lost so many people last night when she put up Candace's cash app. They were fleeing out of there. She she lost over a hundred and some people all at once. Ha <laughs> ha, right? <laughs> and I know this because someone sent it to me. Watch those numbers go down. <laughs> right? So there you go. Um, karma's a bitch. Karma's a bitch. But you know what? Daisy asked for it all because why? Because why? She lowered her, her standards. Her principles, her morals for the dollar, for click, likes, views, and a dollar. She lowered everything. She turned on Summer Moon, Utah Wales for what? Some suspects. That's what she did. She did. And I'm going to tell you something. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that happened. I'm absolutely sorry that it happened. Hey, Trisha, I appreciate that. Love you, PG. Girl, I love you too. And I appreciate the support for Summer's channel. Absolutely. God bless. Over here, you will see no cash apps. You will see no PayPal's. You will see no Venmo's. No cash apps, PayPal's, or Venmo's. And if you do, if you do, they shall be for someone else. Yes. I put up a cash app for Hunter a phone because I believe Hunter deserved a phone. He got his took. Why? Why? Because Candace called him on June the 15th. Try to act like he text, <clears throat> act like he was the one to text her first. No, she called. She. No, I'm sorry. That ain't the way it went. She texted him first. Then he called her. Then he called her. But she texted them first. <clears throat> That's what she did. Letting them know that Grandis was in the hospital. And then she tried to make it out like it was all him hitting her up. And that was not truth. And because he was in the wrong place at the wrong time, he got his phone taken away from him. While well, they got theirs handed back. <clears throat> he did not get no support for a new phone. Like, like the Wells did. The Wells didn't get just, you, they didn't even need new phones. They got their phones back. But they were afraid that their phones were, were bugged by the law enforcement. Tapped. So they, they, they threw them down and got four brand new ones. How? Off the support, support of the people. Off the backs of the people. Right? And they didn't get a lawyer. They didn't get a lawyer <clears throat> to get their boys back. No, they didn't get a lawyer to get their boys back. Um, they didn't hire a lawyer to <clears throat> oversee Summer's reward fund and and what the law enforcement, you know, has and does not have, and what law enforcement is doing in order to keep something on the back of law enforcement's ass to find her daughter. They didn't do that either. Um, actually, to be honest, they didn't even put no money in their house. Hell, they had Cam and a bunch of volunteers doing all that too, right? So they didn't even, they didn't even put none of that money into their home to fix it up so they could, you know, so they could get their boys back and possibly find their daughter. No, none of that. 
They wasn't spending it on flyers. They had a bunch of people donate a shit ton of flyers. And they didn't even hand one out or pound one up. Right? I bet law enforcement was surprised when they seen all them damn flyers hidden up in that safe. Um, it was like, damn. Right? Damn. Um, these are some... You know, that's just more to lead law enforcement into, well, they sure wasn't looking for their fucking daughter, right? Obviously must know where she's at um, scenario as well, right? So, there you go. I mean, and this is what Miss Daisy's supporting over there, right? Now she's got their cash up up again. And here's, here's what I want to ask. Here's what I want to ask before I get, you know, to what my title was about tonight. Because I know that, you know, there's going always a lot of shit about, oh, you put stuff in a title and you didn't say it. Well, if I said my title, we say it over here. You can, you can bet your ass on that. But here's what I want to ask tonight. What the hell are we teaching our society by supporting suspects? What are we teaching the people out here hearing and listening to all of this? What are, what, what are we teaching them? Well, over here, we're teaching them to, on this channel, we're teaching them that you don't turn on the suspects back for no damn reason. That you're sold ain't for sale. That, that you know, money don't mean a damn thing. It's just paper, right? It's just paper. I mean, you know, you got to do what's righteous in the sight of God. I'm not worried about money, man. I'm worried about my soul, right? I'm worried about my soul. Not, not no money. You know, if the Lord wants me to have it, I'll get it. And if he doesn't want me to have it, then I'm happy without it. Right? The Lord giveth, the Lord taketh away. Blessed be the Lord. Man, I'm going to tell you, I'd rather have prayers than money. I'd rather have a kind word than money. I'd rather have a real friend at my back. Than a foe. Or money. A lot of people. You know they put value in that dollar. Well I'm going to tell you something. There ain't no value in no dollar. Because all the best things in life are free. All the best things in life are free. Summer Moon Utah Wells. Was a child. She had nothing. Remember when you was a child, you had nothing. Best years of your life, right? Best years of your life is when you had nothing. You know, I'm going to tell you, and it's, the st it's still the best years of our life. When we depend on what? Our parents. And our real parent is who? God Almighty. Depend on your parent, man. Depend on God. He's your real father. Not the dollar. But you depend on God. That's what we're teaching people over here. You don't support suspects. These are the people that deserve to be put in prison. These are people that, you know, do bad things. They, 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 they have, they have no reason to be in society, right? Especially if they are number one suspects in the eyes of law enforcement. Law enforcement, you know, 99 out of 100 times is not wrong. They're right on the money, right? Because they got evidence. They got facts. And their facts ain't pointing at no one except the wells. That's what it looks like to me. 
that's you know that's my opinion and i think my opinion is law enforcement's opinion because that's who i watch that's who i you know i seek after and that's where you know i know they ain't giving me no false information why the hell would they why would they do that hey Susanne, i appreciate that hun she just became a youtube member yes god bless god bless Hey, girl, I, I truly, truly appreciate you supporting Summer's channel here. God bless. Anyway, but yeah, they're suspects. But what is Miss Daisy's channel teaching people? Is Her channel's teaching people, hey, you could do something like this to your child and get supported. Get a bunch of money. Get your cash app put up. Man, that's a sick fucking thing to be putting out here in society, right? When did we start supporting suspects? When did we start putting out the vibe that you could do stuff like this and get cash out? That you could actually make tons of money off the back of your child? Even if you're the blame. I don't know, folks. I don't know. But I don't like it. I don't like this being put out here into society. It makes me fear that someone might do something to their child just to get supported like that. That is disgusting. And it's and it's heartbreaking. And when the hell did we start doing this? Please, someone tell me. Because I don't know. You know, it's a sad thing. It's a sad thing, you know, in, in our society. When we have to sit back, I mean, little Summer, whatever happened to her, whatever happened to her is cruel. You know, did the whales, did the whales, are the whales the ones missing? No. Are the whales victims? No. Are the whales the ones that went without food, went without clothing? Went without getting showered. Went without, you know, had to scream to get a towel, to get dressed. No. No. They know none of the pain they put them children through. None of the pain they put them children through. They knew none of it. Donald was petted his ass from day one. And Candace's ass was petted as well. Look at the pictures. Look at the pictures of how Candace was dressed. And all the fat meat on her bones growing up. That bitch didn't ever miss a meal. She didn't miss a meal. And neither did Donald. But those Wells kids did. Those Welsh kids did. You look at Candace's picture. She's all clean and shined up. Not Summer. Candace is sitting in her school pictures that obviously they bought. Because she has a portrait of one. Summer won't ever know what it's like to have her school pictures. Right? She won't ever know. I don't know what happened to Summer. I don't know what happened to her. But I'm going to tell you something. I got a damn good idea. A damn good idea that she went through a lot of fear. And a lot of pain. And a lot of suffering. 
whatever happened to her wasn't good. Wasn't good. And, and you're going to support those type of people? Suspects? Number one suspects? You're really going to give them money? You're really going to put, put their cash app up? You're going to, Summer don't even have a reward fund. She don't even have a reward fund. But the Wells have cash apps. Summer don't even have no billboards anymore. But the Wells got a cash app. Summer don't even have a proper burial place. But the well's got a cash up. Summer has no one out there. No one out there really seeking and looking for her. But the wells have a cash up. Summer's five years old, and she's missing. And I know she's supposed to be seven, but in my eyes, she's going to always be five because I don't think she ever made it past the age of five. And in heaven, whenever you or whenever you leave this earth, that's what you are forever, right? If you leave at five, you're five forever. You leave at 20 or 20 forever. I believe summer is five forever. I believe summer is in heaven. And in my opinion, Don and Candace Wells are guilty as fucking hell. But they got a cash out. They got support. Are you fucking kidding me? Um, that's sad. <laughs> it's absolutely sad. And they come out. <clears throat> Blow a bunch of smoke up people's asses. Like there's some kind of fucking prizes or rock stars out here. Shooting the shit. And people flock to see it. Unbelievable. I got better things to do with my fucking life than flock to see that shit. And that's the God's honest truth. You know, <clears throat> there's a song that says you got to stand for something or you'll fall for anything, right? Got to stand for something. Well, by God, I stand. I stand. I stand on truth. I stand on justice. I stand on kindness, love, and caring. And I stand on trust. And you know, Summer can always trust me to be there for her. No one else for her. Until justice is served. She can trust me. She couldn't trust Daisy, but she can trust me. She couldn't trust a lot of them other motherfuckers, 
but she can trust me. I have, I have too much, I got too much pride. Yeah, I have pride. I have morals. I have respect. I have all the shit that them 600 people in Daisy's chat last night must have lost. Because not nary, not, none of them was fucking PG. None of them was PG. I don't buy a ticket to that shit. That was ungodly. Anybody that truly loves Summer, truly supports Summer, wouldn't even click into that bitch. If the Wells was even in, even in the description, they wouldn't click in. Just knowing Candace is a is a wrench over there. This damn suspect is a wrench. Timing people out for talking about her daughter or asking questions about her daughter. Get them the hell out of here, Daisy says. Just get them out of here, Candace. Block them. Who are we for? Are we for the whales? Are we for summer? Are we for the suspects? Or are we for the victims? I think summer's army's for summer. And I don't think any of summer's army was over there last night. But man, it was, like I said, 600 people flocked the hell in there. It went down to, it went down over a hundred and some people once they seen Candace's cash app. But I'm going to tell you what, shit like that. Makes you want to cry when you think to yourself, what is this society coming to? We were supposed to hold hands. We're supposed to hold hands. We're supposed to join together for righteousness. We're supposed to join together for the victims. They are the ones that need us. They're the ones that's counting on us. And they're the ones we're telling everyone we're here for. Well, if you're not here for that, then that means we're a liar. And you know the devil's the father of all liars, right? And Satan ain't going to be my daddy. Satan ain't going to be my damn daddy. I got a daddy. His name's God Almighty. And I don't want no other daddies except God. That's just the way it is. When I see two motherfuckers with a missing child and they don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk to them. And I don't want to see them. Because I have nothing to say to them. Right? I have nothing to say to them. You're a piece of shit, man. Because anybody with a missing child would be looking for it. Anybody with a missing child would be talking about it. They wouldn't care to tell you everything they was doing the whole fucking day. They'd be telling you exactly everything that happened once police showed up on all the way to police left. Right? They'd be giving you a daily update on everything. They wouldn't care to talk about it. 
the wells all the wells did is hey gag order gag order gag no there's no gag orders on your missing child law enforcement wants just as much help as anybody else wants out there right they want just as much help they want to give people as much information as they can to help bring that baby home it is what it is but the wells say gag order gag order gag order can't talk about the boys okay i understand that i do because in that case and the boys don't need to be talked about but when it comes to their missing daughter summer moon utah wells by god damn it she needs to be found and ain't nobody going to find her if people don't have information to help know where she ain't so they can look where she might be, right? But the Wells ain't going to give you that information. Hell, they haven't even gave law enforcement the three-hour fucking timeline that she came up missing within. And they ain't going to give it to you. And it's okay with Daisy if they don't talk about it. And she avoids that subject like the plague. Because she's scared to death. She might fucking, you know, offend the whales. She might offend them by talking about it. So what does that tell you? That tells me that she ain't there for summer. She's there for the fucking click likes, views, and the money. And I don't have, I don't have nothing for people like that as well she's the scum of the fucking scummiest you don't get no lower than than that low right i mean that is as low as you can go just saying i call it like i see it right that ass is not bumping the ground it is dragging the fucking ground there you go. It is dragging the ground. And that's a lot to fucking drag. Anyway. I'm going to show you. Jody Sue. Jody Sue. As I said in the title. She is saying that the boys. That the boys. Told her. You know. Told law enforcement something different than they told her. From my understandings, the boys told Jody Sue that they heard the scream as well. That they heard the scream. But then some reason, some reason, they didn't tell law enforcement that. Now, I don't know. This is Jody Sue, not not PG. But I do believe I do believe there was a scream that day. I, I really do believe there was a screen. But we're going to listen to Jody Sue because she has been saying some. It's almost like she got in the right mind for some reason. And it is what it is. Now here's the thing. Right. If there are no other calls to law enforcement that exist at 5 30 or before yep mm, there's an issue right now whether there are hearings in here or not there are things that have made me feel like there's a possibility that others exist so what jody sue is saying if there's not no phone calls to law enforcement at 5.30 or before, there's an issue. I think it's because Jody Sue, you know, keeps her phone close, right? And I think when she was down on the road, when she saw Candace coming out of the driveway talking to Donald, I don't think it was 6.09. I think it was 5 30 when she saw Candace talking to Donald on a phone 
Now, Candace says she called Donald at 609. It's a possibility she did. Off of off the phone she gave to law enforcement. But the wells keep different phones, right? I mean, Candace didn't call law enforcement off of her phone. She called it off of Grandis's phone. Because Grandis, she says, has, you know, a carrier that you can do that off of. But, you know, um, Daisy Cow is in the back of my chat. Is in my, actually in my, my back chat. There's Daisy Cow. Everybody see Daisy Cow. And Daisy, you're not coming over here. Get the fuck out of here, you Wells ass kisser. You're kicked. You're kicked. Just get the hell out of here. I am not speaking to you. You are not welcomed on Summer's channel over here at all. You done made up your mind who you're going to support. You go over there and support it, hon. Go support it. You do that little thing. You will answer to God, not me. When you when you get there, when you get there, I hope you spend all that money on earth because there ain't a damn dime of it going to buy your way into heaven, hon. And I'm going to tell you what. Don't bother to give any of it to, don't bother to give any of it to the church because that's dirty money and God don't want it, right? You done sold your ass out to the wrong thing. You done sold that ass out to the wrong thing. You can get the fucking on the hell up out of here. Quit coming back because I don't personally want to see your big ass cow sitting in the back chat of mine. Don't be sitting in the back, the backstage here. Just take take that ass and go somewhere else with it. You disgust me. You freaking disgust me. That's what you do. Yeah, the nerve, right? The nerve. Here she is, want to pop up again. There she is. Won't leave the backstage, right, Daisy? Now let me kick your ass again. Still toe boot. Get the hell up on out of here. Go over there and kiss backside with the whales. Right? That's what you can do. Go kiss the whales backside. Because there ain't nobody over here going to have it. Mm -mm. Don't bring those freaking butt lips over here. Just don't do it. Get the hell out of here. Here she is again. She's back, right? She's back. The big moo moo cow. Oh my God. Fat must have done. The fat must have done growed around her fucking brains, man, because she ain't got no sense, right? She gets kicked the hell out of here and she comes back for more. Who the hell does that? Who the hell does that? That bitch don't have to worry about me coming up on her channel. I wouldn't go over there on the devil's playground if you paid me. And she needs to get out of here. I rebuke you, bitch, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go. Get out of here. What is that word she uses? Ashua? Yeah, I'm using it on you. Take that button, go away. Right there. No summer, no peace. There you go. There you go. This channel is for summer moon, you tell whales. We support summer. You don't, big moo moo cow. Get the hell out of here. Go, go over there and try to milk your cat for some more money. Not only 80 times for yourself, but a few more for Don and Candace Wells, right? Let's give them some support, everybody. Let's give them some support. Right. Candace's cash out. Right there it is. Let's support them. Yeah. 
This ain't for a child a phone. This isn't for a 15-year-old child that got their phone took away from them because of Candace Wells right there upon the screen who like to give children, you know, illegal substance, right? Like twisted teas, vapes, hmm? right? She gives children illegal substance, but Daisy supports that. Daisy supports that, right? There you go. She supports that. Oh, I, I, we don't. We don't support that. Right? We don't support giving minors illegal substance. Illegal alcohol. Illegal anything. Right? We don't party with children. We go out and party and our children get a babysitter. And when they're old enough, like 50, they can go out and party too, right? They can go out and party too. <laughs> That's how we think. That is how we think. I want my child to be a child. I want my teenager to be a teenager. And, I, and I'm not talking about an ungodly teenager, right? I'm talking about the normal teenager. That's, you know, into cheerleading, into playing sports, into, you know... Everything but the things you're not supposed to be into. I want my kids to go to college. I want them to become somebody in this world. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to block. Well, even if I block her, she she could still come up in the back chat. Yeah, anyway, there's Daisy Cow again. She's trying to hang out in the back chat. Um, boom, still toe boot. Everybody, everyone, everyone that wants Daisy to get a still toed boot, put a one in the chat. Put a one in the chat. Let Summer see who supports her. Let Summer see who supports her. There we go. Uh, thumbs up. Thumbs up, Linda. Penny. Butterfly. Amen. Amen, CJ. Susan. Grace. Janet. God bless you guys. Those are real Summer supporters right there. Every last one putting a one in this chat tonight is a summer supporter. There you go. Boom, Daisy. Boom. There's your kick in the ass, bitch. There's your kick in the ass right here. This is Summer's channel. This is Summer supporters. This is not no Wells ass kissers over here. You need to take your butt lips back over on your own channel. That's where you need to go, girlfriend. Take that ass over there onto your own channel where you people all have booty lips for the whales, right? Take them booty lips over there on your own channel. We don't smell that kind of breath over here. Don't come over here stinking up our place. 
you keep that butt breath right over there. Ain't going to be none of that shit over here. None. How you doing tonight, sweetie? Who, me? Yeah. You're calling me, sweetie? Are I'm you in the park? Do you like Daisy Cow and her supporting the whales? I don't know who you're talking about. You don't know Daisy? No, I haven't listened to that yet. I thought about it. Do you I'm know Summer? I'm just getting tired of you bashing people, especially them. If they were guilty, I believe they'd be in jail right now. And I just, Do you? I think you're Do despicable. You? Yeah, you, you I just believe had to say it. I hope everybody watches my little video on there too. What did you, they watch your, <laughs> everybody watch your little video? Yeah. I no, I hope everybody watches this, this bitch. Yeah. You just got kicked in a fucking ass. Still toe boot. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. You got a kick in the ass. You support the whales. See ya. Don't come over here. Don't come over here supporting the whales. I hope everybody watches my little video. Well, I hope everybody watches your little video, too. Because it probably sucks just like you, right? I I don't like the way you bashing people, but I'll go bash you. I'll go bash you. <laughs> now, how the fuck does that make any sense, you dumb bitch? Right? What the fuck? How does these people think anyway? You know, big old waterheads. Bunch of fucking waterheads, right? I think if they were guilty, they'd be in jail. Uh, no, I don't think so. Why don't you look at some of the other cases, right? Like the West Boys. Why don't you look at that case? Why don't you look at the Boswell case? Why don't you look at a lot of other cases, um, sweetheart? It takes a long time before they, you know, are able to get everything together to actually prosecute, you know, you know nothing about the law whatsoever, but you bring your big ass over here and try to talk about it as if you do. What the fuck? Right? Stupid. Big old freaking jug brain. And Daisy, you can just take, like I said, Take your moo moo lips and go away. Take them big ass moo moo lips and go over on your channel. Start your channel up and try to milk a bunch of people. Why don't, you know, I got an ideal. Why don't you get Donald up on your channel tonight to talk about what? Let's see. What kind of subject could Donald talk about? Hmm. Maybe, you know, the Bible about his, his, a vintage church or whatever the heck it's called, right? Where they worship some woman more than they worship God. Some lady that wrote a book. Maybe you can go read his fucking book that he made everybody else read and laughed about. Telling them that if they did, he would meet up with them. And then, you know, the laugh was on him when they came found his ass at his job, right? When they came found his ass at his job. There you go. Why don't you do that? I mean, it's just a little suggestion. Instead of hanging out in my back chat, having your big ugly cow stare at me, <clears throat> right? I buy my milk at the grocery store. That shit's FDA approved, right? FDA approved. I don't get no freaking fly juice in it and shit like that. Some dirty hands milking it. Going all down in the bucket. That's nasty. Then you wonder why you're laying around not feeling good. Don't even bother to skim the top of it. We can tell they do that.
Oh my goodness. She's back. <laughs> right? <laughs> She's back. Oh my god. Unbelievable. Daisy. She just got this steel toe boot again. She won't ever her ass gonna be sore tomorrow, right? Her ass gonna be sore. She don't even know yet. They do suck. That's true. They do suck. I'm not lying. And that's what we do. You know, that's what we do. We are trying to find Summer. We are trying to stay on law enforcement. You know, does Daisy call law enforcement and say, hey, what's up? You know, is anything closer to finding Summer? You know, we love her. We just want to keep in contact. We just want to know. Does she do that? No, I don't think so. But we do. We do that. Right? We do that. I mean, did she t did she call and talk to, you know, Sheriff, the Sheriff down there? Pruitt? Mr. Prune? No, but I do. You know, I call him. He gives me hell and I call him back. You know, sure. Why not? You know, did she put out special videos? Hey, Ronnie Lawson, you need to look at this. You need to see this. You need to understand this. No, she doesn't do that. Absolutely not, but we do. We do it, right? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And I do because that's what Donald has led us to believe, right? With his, with his, um, you know, I saw an angel. I saw an angel five, six months before my daughter went missing. And this angel told me. And then a week. A week and a half before. My daughter came up missing. I'm holding her in a picture. And what was tended. Oh I'm sorry. Um, What the angel said. Yeah you said it right the first time. What was intended. Had been carried out. On June 15th 2021. So you said it right. And then you want us to support you? I don't think so. No. And Daisy, don't come over here. Don't come over here trying to spread your fucking bullshit on Summer's channel. Don't you even do it. Don't you even do it, Miss Tennessee. Morristown. Motherfucking don't do it. Let me tell you that right now because I am the wrong person for you to come and be trying to do this to. I'm just forewarning you. If you want to support the Wells, you go over there on your ass kissing channel and you do it. But do not come over here on Summer's channel doing nothing. You better take a heed right now and just go away. Don't come back over here. I'm not asking you. I'm telling you. Do not come back over here. I want nothing to do with you. Ever. After what you've done to this baby. It ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen. I'm going to tell you something. I've got, I've got a daughter that I need to be worrying about right now. I did not want to come in on here tonight. But I did for Summer's sake. I did. Because this cow is trying to get people, trying to get people to support suspects instead of Summer. That is why I'm here tonight. And I cannot allow that to happen. We cannot allow that to happen. Summer's army cannot allow this to happen. 
at all for no reason it cannot happen now I came out here tonight to call out the facts to call out the truth and I did and you guys all know that everything I said is truth you have been here from day one you have been supporting this little girl from day one. You have seen the shady shit that the Wells have did. You know who law enforcement is looking at. You don't need me to come up here and tell you. You don't need me to come up here and tell you that. But Summer needs us to be up here and keep the focus on her. And the focus right where it should have been from day one on the wells. And I think if it would have been this way from day one. And if she'd have had the strong army that she has here now. I think that this case would have been solved already. But instead you had a bunch of fucking daisies. You had a bunch of fucking daisies. Coddling the wells. And fucking Summer and all of us over. By keeping their mouth shut. And 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 not pressuring them to, to, to speak out and tell the truth. They were scared to ask the whales the hard questions. And that's why Summer has not been found to this day. I'm done with that shit. I'm done with that shit. You cannot serve two masters. You are either on the right side or you're on the wrong side. And we all know what the right side is. And that is for the victim, the real victim. No, the victim don't have a voice. We are their voice. Well, I'm Summer's voice tonight. I am Summer's voice tonight. And I'm telling you right now, we are not going to go kissing no suspects' asses over at Daisy Cows. Ain't happening. It just ain't going to happen. And Candace could keep that ass on Daisy Cows as well. Candace ain't going to come over here. Candace ain't going to come nowhere near this town. You know why? Because that bitch don't want to answer the hard questions. Right, Candace? You got your big ears propped open. You don't want to come anywhere near me. Because you know you're going to get your ass wiped if you do. I can guarantee that. And if you got... You know, if some reason, Candace, you've grown some fucking balls, bring them on up here on panel. You bring your ass up behind here. Bring your ass in the back. And, oh, I let you up. I definitely let you up, Candace. I let your ass up for sure. We want to know about that timeline, Candace. Let's talk about from 3.30 to 6.30 when that phone call was made. Let's talk about that screen that happened at 4.30 to 4.47. Let's talk about you leaving a driveway twice that day, not once. Let's talk about you coming to the car and screaming about how law enforcement had you in there telling you they know you did. And you told them, um, no, nope, only once. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. If you ain't going to arrest me, then I'm going to leave. And you did. How about that, Candace? How about let's talk about that? Hmm? Why don't we talk about how you went around saying that Summer wasn't wearing her school outfit today. She disappeared. How she was wearing a purple top and a pair of pink shorts. And the top had some kind of pretty design on it. Why don't we a pattern? 
Why don't we talk about that, Candace? Hmm? Why don't we? Why don't we talk about how you sat there and said that Donnie left work at 3 o'clock and came home? Let's talk about that, Candace. Right? And let's talk about Donnie didn't have no damn alibi, Candace, until um, after 5 o'clock when one of the co-workers showed up. And then shortly after that, the boss, and that's when you were on the phone at 6.09 whatever phone you switched out to at 6.09 because you were already on a phone at 5.30 coming out of that driveway. That's why Jody Sue says if there wasn't a phone call made at that time or before, then it ain't going to work out. There's an issue because Jody Sue saw the time on her phone. And Jody Sue also knowed that she heard that scream not long before, before you come pulling out of there. Right? To be about an hour to be exact. About an hour to be exact. Candace does nothing but lie. That's all she does. Lie, 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 lie. She's got a missing daughter. And all she wants to do is play games and fucking lie. She tells police that Summer's wearing the school outfit. She tells other people she wasn't. Me, for one. You know, this is the shit her and Don love to do. They love to do. And they love, you know, the hatred. Right? They love the fact that, that I'm pissed at Daisy Cal right now. Right? They love the fact that Daisy Cal's all upset, right? And and wanting to run her mouth. They they love it. This is the stuff they live for. You know, they got a missing daughter, and this is what they live for. And yes, Candace is a coward. She is. And she won't come up here and talk to us. Absolutely not. That girl ain't got enough ass to show up here. Trust and believe that. Just like Donald. You know, go on Steve Wilco's show. While well, he went on Dr. Phil's show. On, on, on one stipulation. No lie detectors test. Mm-hmm. A lot of people don't know that. But I do. And the reason he won't go on Steve Wilco's show, because Steve Wilco is lie detector's test. And no way in hell is he going to go, because I don't think they passed the first ones. I do not believe they passed the first ones, let alone pass another one. Right? Yeah, that's, that's the truth. But listen to what Jody Sue has to say. But when I first see Candace on June 15th, right? After 6 or 9, she says she's then calling on. Like that's when, you know, she's making calls or whatever, you know. And then they say that. 620-something is when the first calls. I'm like, okay. But, and it goes back into some things, you know. For me, it would make more sense if an actual call went into law enforcement around 530. And here's why. Because that day, after 6.09, knowing the general response time, and I've said it even on my first anything publicly, I'm like, I was astounded at the response time, like how quick they got there. But that's also based on where they're located in the county and this other time. So I thought, hell, they took the ser you know, like, boom, and they're in there. But 
knowing they didn't get there till what close to seven so it's still possible the calls went at 620 something and they hauled ass and got in there right um but generally speaking, I mean, you're looking at 45 minutes to an hour. So, had a call been placed at possibly 5.30, it would make sense for what the usual response time is. For them to have gotten in there at 6.30 or so, right? Even though I thought, shit, they really got in here quick if Candace just now called them after, you know, 6.09. So, but... But, if, however, there were no calls until truly 6.20-something, then, yeah, that response time was fucking amazing. But also, um, that's a problem for me. Simply because... If calls to Dawn exist at 5.30, she knew someone was missing at 5.30. Uh, but the first calls to go into almost 6.30, yeah, it's probably. It's real fucking real. Um, especially when combined with the fact that you especially by the WJHL interview that grandest especially trying to say the boys went for some reason they had this idea that some had already been kidnapped apparently even prior to coming into contact with me after six of mine and grandest never did come in so how in the hell would they have any like and my idea was I was not the first put oh she's been kidnapped because that wasn't my first fucking thought there you go there you go the boys were down below supposedly looking for summer but yet when jody sue comes in contact with them they're already under they're already saying that their sister's been kidnapped right Grandis is standing up above and Candace has already came out of the driveway in a vehicle. And already they're setting it up that, I mean, Jody Sue has a point there. Jody Sue has a point. Everywhere has, they just barely started searching. They really haven't overly searched for her yet. To, you know, she could have, she could have wondered all. They haven't really overly searched for her yet, but they're already got kidnapping in play. And for that area, that's unheard of, right? I mean, Jody Sue's like, no, she's wondered off. We're going to find her somewhere, right? We're going to absolutely find her. That's what any neighbor would think. Um, even the other neighbor over in the farm, he's out there looking as well. He thinks she's just wandered off. They're going to find her. No, but Candace, Grandis, and they've already got the boys dumb, implicated into the boys' minds that they're not looking for their lost sister, but a kidnapped sister. Well, why are they even looking if they feel she's already been gone like that, right? Why would you have your children even looking if you feel that you know it was it was indeed kidnapping don't make no sense she's got a point there you know and i never put that in the pond don did but um but here's grandest later on on wjhl saying they said boys don't search break they'd be taken to but if you've not searched everything yet, then how in the fuck would you have, like, this idea that some have been kidnapped? What the fuck is going on? I agree. And to know that the event she's speaking of took place while I was a direct source below, and the, I could hear the voice crashing down the left side. Lisa, is that you? Is yeah. that you? Yep. Yeah. All right. 
I just want to make sure it's you. I'm going to put Jody Sue back up here. Okay. And go on it, and they hadn't come back yet. Say, so, okay, Grandma, Mom, uh, Summer's not down there. It means the whole place hadn't been searched to even fucking know, right? And then you've got the boys telling me one thing, they tell law enforcement another, they, all these moving pieces, right? And then you also have Candace on day two after Summer Vanishes when Candace never knew the time of the scream. She did not know the time of the scream. But she recorded saying the reason she didn't hear it is because she was already searching for Summer in the basement. Boys, TV up, this there, blah, 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 blah. All right. So that's her trying to convert, you know, I, I don't know. That piece itself is weird because she didn't know the top. At that time. She just knew I'd hurt. And the kid, yeah. I honestly, at that point, I don't think she knew the kids had hurt it either because I was. See, she's saying that the kids had heard the scream. The kids had told, had told Joe and Sue. That they heard the scream. Then they told law enforcement something else. It's like, I heard a scream. I'm sorry. I did not. And then when she recorded, she says, my neighbor. Right? And then later on, Donna Dab said, and what? I know he's not told by us. I think it has to be told by another party about the muffled part and all these other things. And implying to the public like it was muffled the whole way and down the dark and see she even says that Don lied she said she heard a scream that you know the animalistic scream the kids heard it as well and then Don uses that scream saying that you know it's muffled that you know like someone's got their hand over a child's face he used that scream for his own you know agenda right he used it for his own agenda, like, you know, somebody was running down that dog trail without tripping and falling and breaking her neck, which they would have, um, you know, with their hand over a child's mouth. Are you kidding? Because that child now, if you got your hand over his mouth holding it, it's going to be kicking, whacking, smacking. Um, there's no way you're going down that steep of a hill with your hand over anyone's mouth. That is bullshit. I don't know, there's too many shaking parts. Yeah. And it makes you wonder. It makes me know. Right? But, um, but if, I don't know, by day two or go well, I missed the screen, whatever, right? Maybe she just thought, because of what she thought, you know what I mean? It's like, Maybe when she discovered some were missing and her mom went well and heard her scream, but she didn't know what time. But she's like, well, obviously, well, and then maybe that means it happened in the timeline. So it wasn't actually her trying to do anything, just her speaking from, well, maybe I missed it because I was in the basement, and who knows what time she thought. I don't. But then you also have her on prayer gardens at one point trying to pull back the timeline saying she's seen me at like 4.30 or 5 or some shit when she's messing about with Benny Keys and Salt Earth on that panel. She's like She's right. She's right. Candace did use that screen. Remember she said, oh, I didn't hear it because I was probably in the basement and the TV was up loud and everything. Remember that? Do you remember that, Lisa? Yep, I sure do. Mm-hmm. So there you go. And she did come up on our panel and she did say that, you know, she was trying to pull the timeline back, wasn't she? And yep. I think that was because, you know, but but that shows you how small Candace's brain is because we all know what time law enforcement was called. 630. I mean, you can't change that. You cannot change that. Yeah, but she was trying to pull it back. 
Um, and even even saying that Jody Sue was down there on the road and and I think that was to also try to make Jody Sue look guilty as well. I mean, the Wells are some dirty motherfuckers. These are people, man, that I promise you, I promise you, they would they would steal your color TV and then they would swear that there was everybody else in the neighborhood. They seen them over there um, coming in and out of your house that day, right? Yes, I they mean, would. They would. Absolutely. Absolutely. These are some dangerous mother. And not only that, but all the people they said they saw, these are their friends. These are these are people, you know, that actually liked the Wells and actually was, you know, friends with them at one point in time. Well, up until this, right? Up until they started accusing them of all this dirty shit to get the focus off their cells. But, you know, when you're striving, when you're striving to you know to keep the focus off of you and you're feeling that panic you know that panic that if the if you know the focus does get on you you're probably going to end up in prison then you're willing to scoop to the low low right you're willing to do whatever you have to do to protect your own ass right it is what it is i mean you know that's you have some people that you know you have some people that won't do that. You know, you have the ones that you have the ones where you go do something together and it's like, you know, one gets caught. And one gets caught and it's like, I'm, I'm feeding back through your mic, sweetheart. Oh, yeah. Hang on. Let me turn my volume down. You click out of YouTube. Oh, I got, I just got to turn my volume down. Oh, okay, sweetie. But, you know, one gets busted. Is that better? Yes, that's much better. Okay. One gets busted and what happens is, you know, they'll be like, they go down alone, right? They don't, they don't snitch on anybody else. It's like, um, nobody was with me. You know, I wasn't even there, but since you want me to be there, then, you know, it is what it is. But then you've got other ones, you know, that they get like the whales, for instance. I promise you, when they when they finally get Candace, Grandis, or Donald to talk, whichever one talks is going to tell the whole damn story, right? Because that's just who they are. Because, you know, you get Polly Parrot in there sometimes, right? Polly Parrot be like, oh, yeah, and it was so-and-so else and so-and-so else. I mean... They done squeal on every fucking body, right? Yeah. It is what it is. I mean, you have some people that hold, you know, they're true blue, and there's other people that um, you know, you got your other ones that are like, you know, dead friends. He, he got up on Doug's channel the other night and he got nervous because they were recording him over there and he didn't want to be recorded. He already knows that he's recorded when he gets on YouTube. Absolutely. Absolutely. And then this thing that Josh and Donnie were texting back and forth yesterday. And Josh posted it up there on YouTube about the, the experiment that they wanted Candace to do just to see what everybody would say and then turn around and tell the truth about it. That was a bit crazy. Well, um, yeah. <laughs> Donald should have read it. It was just absolutely crazy. And the dreams that Donnie had about Summer's head being bashed in. I don't think those were dreams. I think that was reality. You know, I think, I think that, you know, the angel thing, the angel thing a week and a half before, um, you know, and, you know, and as you guys all heard, you heard Jody Sue sit there and you heard Jody Sue just now say that, you know, the, the kids heard the scream 
they, you know, they're telling law enforcement something different, you know, telling her one thing, telling law enforcement something different. It, you know, it goes to prove that, that, and, and, you know, that's one reason Donald wasn't allowed. And, and what Judy Sue is saying is adding up just like, just like with on um, Dudley. Dudley said, you know, he looked like he had lost his best friend a week or so before Summer came up missing. And Donald says, I'm crying in the picture because this angel supposedly visited him. And yes, I think that he's using, he's trying to tell what happened through, through things like angels and through things like, you know, on dreams and, and a bunch of bullshit. Right? A bunch of bullshit. And then he says, oh, he's seen Summer and she was dressed and in a beautiful place. Right? Right. In a beautiful place. Um, you know, and he's trying to say, you know, it was like this this house that he had worked on or, or worked at. Maybe law enforcement needs to go check the properties that Don Wells has, has you know, worked at over the last few years. And um, ask the owners to could could they please check the property? Maybe take some search dogs on there, right? Yeah, maybe they'll find some are there, right? Because I, from my understanding, you know, search dogs can't just find a certain scent, you know, um, for days or weeks. They can find the scent for years. Yep. No, they it's sure still not, right. It's still not too late. And I think that's something that should be, you know, should be addressed to law enforcement and something they should think about doing, right? Right. Think about doing that because I remember Don talking about one big house he had worked on and how beautiful it was and how beautiful the landscaping and everything was. And who's to say, you know, who's to say that, I mean, he's a nut. Right? Him and Candace are capable of anything. Who's to say they didn't go out there on this this person's land and, you know, and and put their child? Who knows? I don't know. But I think anything and everything's worth looking into due to the simple fact that, due to the simple fact that, you know, this child is missing and, and needs to be found. And, and since they are the main suspects in the eyes of law enforcement, then therefore I think that, you know, and I'll tell you another thing. Grand is took out of there like a bat out of hell, right? She got out of there like a bat out of hell right after Summer came up missing. So, um, well, my goodness, look who it is. Miss Piggy, <laughs> I see ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Who's Miss Piggy? Freaking oh. Jinkies. Another Wells ass kisser, right? Oh, Not Jinkies. Here. Ain't welcomed here. No, she's sending Jinkies over. You know, see ya, Jinkies. Over there and swallow I down. I cannot them. believe, PG. I cannot yeah. believe how they sat right over there and talked uh -huh. all that junk about Donnie and Candace. Mm -hmm. And now all of a sudden, they want something to do with them. Amen. Amen. And you know what I got to say to them is, you know, Daisy Cow can take her freaking but sucking lips and stay over there on her channel and you know her sister can swallow another fucking banana hole on her channel and try to uh, turn on chill billy right they ain't welcomed here this is freaking summer's channel and and we don't we don't you know socialize with people that are for the suspects instead of the victims it just is what it is you know, right. they can't seem to get that through their fat head, right? They can't seem to get that through their, their thick skulls. Well, they need to get it through there. Now, why would Candace even want to be on there after 
she talked all that junk about her. Because that's what Don and Candace does. That's what Don and Candace does. Which you don't so understand. So all of a sudden she supports them. So, I mean, it was like she talked all that junk about them, but yet she turned her back, her back on some. Oh, they knew. They knew. And what started she kissing their ass. Mm -hmm. They knew what she would do. And they, and they plan, you know, they knew they're going to take her channel down. You know, yep. and, and here's the thing Don and Candace knows. Like Benny's, they were up on Benny's, rolling with Benny, right? And Benny thought, you know, he was rolling the big time, just like, you know, Daisy thinks she's rolling some big time right now, right? With the wells in her pocket or, well, no. That won't last long. The wells ain't in your pocket, bitch. You are in their pocket. And they will, they will roll your, your big ass down the hill onto the road. And you'll be, you know, you'll be kicked and they'll be laughing. <laughs> and you know what they'll have to say? Would Donna have to say? Oh. Oh. So, so get I get on there talking horrible to her oh, after so that. I, right. So, oh, so I did something disgusting to my daughter? You know, no. You know, you think Don is going to forgive that? You think he's going to forgive them ugly 20 months worth of words that her and, and, Christine and and Robin and all them was putting out like that. Hell no, he's not. That Summer was his daughter. I mean, regardless to what happened, regardless to what happened, you know, I'm going to tell you something about RSO. Even if they are an RSO, they don't want to hear that shit. Right? right. They don't want to hear that shit. I mean, even if they did it, they don't want to hear it. But they had right. it for 20 months. And they heard it from them. And let me tell you something. Like I said, getting even feels damn good, don't it? And they will get even. Trust me. And they won't only get even. But, you know, they'll get some money and everything in their pockets while they're doing it. And like Don said, you know, if this motherfucker don't prove to be fruitful... He's off the hill. And that's, he was talking about Cam at that time. And he started laughing. He started laughing. Oh, PG, that girl that come into chat, that toaster Evan girl, was mm -hmm. the one that they had moved on the hill with them not long ago. When Daisy was all up into her dumpster diving stuff. Mm -hmm. And the girl told Miss Daisy that she was homeless. Well, Candace apparently had allowed this lady to move up there on the hill. Well, she was in chat a little while ago, and I told her to carry her ass back over to Daisy. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Um, I heard about that. Candace said, Candace says, oh, she ain't got no safe place. I got a safe place for her. You ain't even got a safe place for your a fucking self. Right, a safe place. Sure. She ain't got a safe place for herself. That's why I didn't give it back to kids. If it was a safe place, Candace, your children would be there, but they're not. Right? Right. She'll never get those boys back. Never. And I think that's why they're staying sober because they think that they're going to get those children back. Well, that's not going to happen that way. You know, the for one, with them being the main suspects, and and Don and Candace knows this, with them being the same sus, the number one suspects, them not being truthful with law enforcement over the timeline, right? The right. Uh, lying and 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 leaving out big chunks of that timeline and giving law enforcement. I mean, instead of running to law enforcement to find their daughter, they've been running away from them. You know, right. law enforcement is not stupid. Nobody's stupid in this case. We all see, you know, we all see the evidence there. We're all seeing it. We know, I mean, we know as well as law enforcement does who looks guilty as hell in all of this and who has been trying to keep the focus off themselves and onto anything and everyone else. You know, and off their daughter as well. 
Um, well, look how Don many Wells, people they blamed, PG. Don Wells had the audacity to ask me to just quit this channel altogether. He had the audacity to ask me to, you know, to, to stop talking about Summer. He does not want Summer talked about. He wants Summer forgotten. And, you know, I told him that ain't going to fucking happen. Hell no. Right. Hell no. It will not happen. Absolutely not. That's bullshit. Yeah, it is. But he has their YouTube fa they're, You know, PG, they're the sickest people I have ever seen for parents of a missing child to get on YouTube and talk like they do. If they want that child found, then they need to be respectful, okay? He's like... Instead of getting up there, talking all kinds of crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. You go I'm trying to get people to believe their junk. Right. People doesn't believe their junk. They already see right through their junk. They already know that they're lying. Amen. Okay? You got that right. You got that right. Daisy Cow, you got no friends here. You got no friends here, huh? That lady needs to go on back over to her channel. Yeah, she does. You know, I don't do I that. I have nothing nice to say to her I whatsoever. Don't, I, don't, I don't pop up at her channel. I don't pop on her channel. I don't, you know, do nothing. I don't write in her back chat. You know, I don't, I because I don't give a fuck about her. Right? I'm on a mission, man. I'm on a mission. You know, summer is our topic, right? Our goal is to find her, bring her home, and get justice. You know, we are on a mission here. And, you know, who, what kind of human, what kind of human? Oh, look at her face. <laughs> she laying down, actually laying down. Do you ever set up, Daisy? Do you ever set up? That's, that's what I like to know. Do you ever set up? Unbelievable. Look at that. She's blowing me kisses and shit. What a weirdo. Yuck. Uh, I'm going to tell you what, man. I was dodging them bitches. It's like dodgeball, right? Because you know those are, those are butt kisses right there. Those are Wells butt kisses she's trying to blow at us. Oh, my God. Is she kind of weird? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Exactly. Apparently so oh, for some woman to be blowing kisses at you. Hey, those were butt kisses. Those were like butt kisses. Those nasty butt kisses. Oh, hell. She's in the chat. Um, Mods. Fuck you, yeah. Daisy. Fuck yeah. you. Listen, Daisy, here's what we got to say to you. What we got to say to you. Get her out of here. Get her out of here, y'all. Get that bitch out of fucking chat. Block, block that bitch. Get her out of here. <laughs> right? You remember that last night when you was doing it to Summer's Army? Mods, do me a favor. Block her ass. Block it. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. God's going to get you, Daisy. God's going to get you, hon. You like those dollars? You like that money? You like that money? Spend that money, hon. Spend that money. Because you know what? It burns in hell. It burns in hell, Miss Daisy. It burns in hell. It will you got burn. That right. It will burn with you, hon. You done sold your soul, right? You sold a five-year-old miss <laughs> little girl out. For some suspects. Ha! Damn. Damn. Man, those people locked up right now with more morals than you. <laughs> right? <laughs> hey, people locked up over some goody good shit. Ain't got more morals than Daisy. Right? Why ain't she in her own damn chat? Or why ain't she on her own panel? Doesn't she have her own channel over there? 
I guess she can't sit up long enough to get turn it on. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, damn. You know, I got my ass all set up in this fucking chair. <laughs> right? I ain't had no. <laughs> I had no sleep in like two or three days, girl. I'm like, <laughs> I'm barely freaking going. I'm like, damn. I'm still running rings around that. Like, shit. Right. Must be nice to just be able to lay back on a on a fucking sofa, right? Eating twins right. talking shit. Damn. Anyway, you know. What'd she say? This um, lady here. What they oh. oh, I wish I could see chat. Oh, <laughs> I need to get me an extra phone. I'm going to tell you something. Ernie came up on Daisy's panel. And he didn't even want to acknowledge Candace, right? He was trying his damnedest not to even acknowledge her. And Daisy kept pushing it and pushing it till finally Ernie's like, ah, oh, you know, damn, you put me on a spot. Okay, I hope she's doing good. I got to get out of here. I mean, Candace was like freaking grease lightning trying to get up there, right? She was trying to slide that ass up there and and get on that panel. Hold on, I got a picture. Rodney Tiger, what's up, Ernie? Not <laughs> What's up, Bernie? What's up, Bernie? <laughs> you know Daisy's writing a book on this, right? Yeah, yeah, I doubt it. I don't think you could write laying down. <laughs> All right. Hey, how you guys doing? All right, how are you? Come on. Doing okay, doing okay. Miss Candace is in the chat. She was wondering how you been. She's been kind of worried about you too. A lot of people's worried about me, they say. <laughs> How you doing, Ernie? I'm doing okay, doing okay. He tried to avoid it. Do you hear him? He tried to avoid it. He said, lots of people's yep. worried about me. <laughs> Even he's like, <laughs> oh, hell no. This chick wanted to take me out fishing in the dark. <laughs> I don't think so, butt naked. <laughs> Whoa. Ernie's like, run, forest run, right? Ernie ran from that one, huh? Well, look, uh, I was just telling you all, I heard that you all was looking for me. Somebody had said something about me or something like that and was asking about me, and I just figured yeah. I'd come up here to oh, say hello to you Oh, it's important, Daisy. Well, Candace has been wondering how you're doing, too. She's been worried about you, too. Candace. Yeah, she's in here. Oh, well, that's cool. She's not up on panel. She's in the chat. Hope she's all right and doing good. But yeah, uh, she's okay. I'm I've got to go. I've got I'm working and everything. So I figured I'd just jump up here and say hello to you all. Damn PG, I like this foot noodles. He just went down, Candace. <laughs> he well, I was gonna come up and say hi to him, but he left. <laughs> he he said Candace, and I said she's in the chat. She's not up here, and I guess you were trying to get up here when he hollered at you. <laughs> Yeah, I was trying to. Yeah, I told him he was concerned. Yeah, I'm working and everything, so I figured I was concerned about you know how. Thing, so I figured I my phone's a little on the slow side. Oh, is it? Uh, yeah, but, it don't go fast. But... <laughs> you guys see that? Do you see? It? Ernie's like, "Hello, gotta Summer go." Summer moon farewells. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I was trying to get up here. I was trying to get him. <laughs> <laughs> she got up there too late. <laughs> he decided to run before she got up on panel. <laughs> <laughs> That's some funny shit, right? <laughs> that was some funny stuff. But yeah, you know, the point being is <laughs> that was funny. I'm not gonna lie. That shit was funny right there. PG, you almost made me spit noodles through my nose. <laughs> <laughs> that was some funny shit, right? <laughs> Miss Daisy like <laughs> Miss Daisy be like, 
oh ernie like you and ernie like who what <laughs> oh that's all right oh i gotta go <laughs> <laughs> Fishing in the dark. Yeah, Candace gonna get up there. Let's go fishing in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Cam and Pam. Oh, Cam, Pam. Cam is Pam, right? <laughs> she be saying nudie booty with no flashlight. <laughs> All right, <laughs> with no flashlight. <laughs> 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 That's some funny shit right there. <laughs> well, Candace, you missed your calling. <laughs> All right. <laughs> missed the calling. <laughs> oh, she sure did. Ran, Ernie ran from her. Oh, uh, yeah, he did. I seen the smoke coming off his tennis shoes. <laughs> it was like boop, boop. <laughs> and then they come get him, girl, come get him. Oop, she missed him. <laughs> Poof, be gone. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you hate it when it's, oh no, you were too slow. <laughs> she couldn't get up on panel fast enough. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Absolutely could not get up on panel fast enough. <laughs> she, was, she was like she was like that white lightning <laughs> and she still missed it <laughs> that was shit right there funny stuff folks but yeah you Poor know Ernie I felt sorry for him oh lord Point being, point being, you know. Didn't he order a pizza and she called the police on him? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, was trying, he was trying to bring her a pizza. He, she, she invited him up there, but she wouldn't let him in because she wanted Ernie to come alone. <laughs> right? <laughs> You want to earn to come along. <laughs> I wonder if they had video cameras set up around there the whole time Donnie was in jail. <laughs> she was like, she was like, if it had just been you, baby, I'd let you in. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't she have a thing with Benny too? Ernie's like, ooh. Yeah, you seen Benny? Ooh. Yes. Oh, God. When they oh. had that deal where Molly and them went out there to video. Hey. Oh, my God. He come running down <laughs> the hill holding his jeans up. I don't know if those were his jeans or, or Candace's. <laughs> well, they might have been Candace's. <laughs> Maybe. Because they were like a mile too big for him. But I'm going to tell you. Um. Everybody told him not to get in that water, right? Everybody told him, they said, yeah. oh, don't go swimming, Benny. Don't go swimming. He went swimming. <laughs> it was bad. It was bad. How long did he stay up there with Donnie and Candace? I don't know. I don't know if he got sick out of the water or if he got sick from the pissy pillow. <laughs> I'm trying to make up my mind. <laughs> I'm like, Whoa. <laughs> They might have both got him at once. Who knows? <laughs> right? <laughs> that <was> bad. <laughs> that stuff was bad. <laughs> I was like, ooh, when I seen him running down the, the hill there towards Molly and them, and he was telling Molly, oh my God, you're fatter than what I it looked like on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> 
and then JLR was over there just shaking. <laughs> and then Vinny picks up that big old piece of stick like he's going to beat JLR with it, right? <laughs> and she was like, yeah. and did you see him when he was in the pool? She was standing over there and Vinny tossed her bar of soap. <laughs> hey, can you take that yeah. bath today? <laughs> 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 Listen, hippo. Here's some soap. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why she went swimming. That was a big, huge bathtub. <laughs> like, <laughs> Don said she never showered. I heard when Don got out of jail, she was like, Shut up, Donnie. Uh, I took a bath for Benny. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's what you call real love. <laughs> Dumb bitch. <laughs> hey, who was that lady that came up on panel earlier? Was that Kathy? Um, where? The one that you booted off the panel. Was that Kathy? Oh, hell, I don't know who that crazy bitch is. I had no idea. I just thought I'd bring her up, you know, see, you know, if she was a friend or a foe she ended up being a foe so she got the still dope boot in the ass right <laughs> <laughs> i figured it was that toaster oven woman that i told her get back over to daisy's channel i have no idea who that nutball was talking about she was oh, being goodness. snoopy I she was over here in chat oh, being all kinds of snoopy talking mm -hmm. this weird shit and i'm like look <laughs> You need to go back over there to the cow lady and the meth heads. Amen. I Absolutely. knew Arctic was going to say something to me about that. I just <laughs> knew it. <laughs> I was waiting for it, too. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. Damn. It's, it's, it's crazy out here, right? You're trying to support... You're trying to support a... A five-year-old missing little girl, you know, a five-year-old beautiful little missing girl. And these animals, you know, they come attacking you, right? For so no what? reason. No. They it, need it, to stay wherever they're at in chat or up was, on a panel somewhere, just it, not in our chat. Because I was, promise you, the last guy that come in there running his mouth didn't run his mouth again. <laughs> oh girl it's for a reason trust me it's for a reason it's for the whales i'm gonna tell you how the whales, i get straight the fuck up on them whenever they're in chat running their mouths like that it's like whoa whales, wait a minute this ain't happening over here i ain't a mod but this ain't happening over here you got to go <laughs> how the whales how the whales get these people how they get these people to go around you know, I'm going to tell you, I'm, I'm going to tell you a little story. I'm going to tell you a little story. There was these people I knew. There was these people I knew. They were, they were evil as fuck. I'm, I'm not talking. I mean, the whales ain't got shit on these people. They ain't got a damn thing on these people that I know. These people are, when I say evil, I mean freaking evil, evil. They're, they're some really evil humans. <laughs> I asked myself one day, I said, how in the hell do they make this group so huge? You know, this, how do they get all of these people to do their, their beckoning and calling? Right? How right. do how the hell do they they do this? Well, God gave me the answer. God gave me the answer because now they had their audacity to 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 actually ask me to ask me to do some beckoning and calling. I'm like, oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. Right. Oh, that's how you think and feel. Well, yes, it is. 
you know, uh, you might, but I'm going to tell you, I was one out of a whole, you would not believe how many that actually said hell no, hell to the no, no. I'm not for sale, but I'm going to tell you, they was a hell of a lot of them that are. And, you know, that's, that's a, that's a horrible thing. But, you know, the Lord gave me the answer to, to how they get these people. They just ask. They just ask and you would not believe how many people are willing to do evil for you and just the asking. And the wells know that. Right. They know that. And and this is what they do. You know, because these people want uh, to please and appease the wells. You know, so they will go at they will go like Satan's own own child. They will go and start attacking good people, innocent people, to please and appease the wells in order to, you know, because they think, you know, they think by doing this for the wells, it also is self-gain for them, right? It's self-gain for them. Right. And, and that's how, you know, this is how the wells actually get these people to do their bicken and their calling. And, and it's disgusting because, you know, these people that do the bicken and calling for evil bastards like that, they are not of God. You cannot be of God and go do some evil humans beckon and callings. No way. Right. So, you know, if the whales can get you in their pocket... I want nothing oh, well, to do going with you. To. I want nothing to do with you because I know you are evil and unrighteous as hell. Right. Right. It is what it is. It is what it is. But you know, like I said, I've I've lived. I've lived many lives in this in this little life that I've lived so far. You'd be surprised at how much, you know, how many wells there are in the world and how many are way more evil than the wells could ever think of being. The wells right. are nothing compared to the people I know. They're not shit. PG, that satellite deal that you did here a while back, what did they ever find out on that? The what? Where it looked like Summer was inside of a deep grave is what it looked like to me. And then somebody was standing over with a shovel. It looked to me like she had her head down, like on a rock or something, just standing there. Well, it was a silent. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, that was supposedly on some land that was near some land that the Bernards owned. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure what exactly, you know, I guess it was turned into law enforcement. And I don't know what law enforcement did with it. I think law enforcement did go out into that area and search. At one particular time. So that could have been the tip they got. That they were searching upon. I'm not sure. Um, and obviously it turned up. Turned up to be nothing. So. Or we would have heard about it by now. I'm sure. Um, yeah. But there was they probably also. probably searched the wrong spot. This satellite clips that you know supposedly on the 15th seen a car come out of the wells and go to that warrior park area where I heard later they had found, you know, they had found a body. Um, it wasn't a child though. It was of a, it you was know, an adult. 
yeah, an, a, an adult on uh, somewhere between the ages of of 20 and 20 something. I guess they weren't too old of an adult, but it's still an adult. Um, I wonder if that was the hitchhiker they picked up. Is well, I'm going to tell you. Um, I I know that. Here's my thing. Most people, you know, there's a lot of us. There's a lot of us that you know come from we come from a background of the hood <coughs> the gangs the hood the streets a lot of us do you know a lot of us were wrapped up in the things we ain't so proud of right um, a lot of people ain't you know a lot of people ain't but one thing when you're wrapped up in a place like that <coughs> if you're wrapped up ever been wrapped up in a place like that or are wrapped up in a place like that here's what you know you know you don't ever you don't ever you know that anyone you have around you you're a hell of a lot meaner than they are if you pick right. up a homeless person and bring them to your home you know that you're mean enough to do whatever needs to be done if they step out of line or you See, ain't Donnie and Pam up. did the same Donnie and Pam did the same thing that exactly. him and Candace do. They bring people that are homeless into their home. Right. And that tells me, and that you know what that tells me? It tells me that they believe that they're a lot more fucking evil than anything they're picking up. Right. And you know what? Donnie having his kids taken away was karma and karma is a bitch <laughs> well that's exactly what that was that was karma now donnie's wife tries to say that donnie raised his kids before he left he did he did but he was in and out of jail so, um, Donald lied and said, you know, that he left because he went to jail and she wouldn't get him out. <clears throat> but that ain't why he left. He left wow. because she caught him with Candace. With Candace, yes. Mm -hmm. And... She told him to get the hell out of there and take Candace with him after he was wearing a cup of coffee and the cup, yep. from my understanding. Yep. So, yep. you know, um, Donald hasn't ever been a role model dad for sure. And, you know, and this um, ex-wife of his goes around, you know telling all of these people she goes around telling all of these people that um you know donnie was such a great person now but he beat on her just like he did candace but but she went around telling mary back in the day <clears throat> donnie's trying to sell our children Donnie's doing all kinds of substance. Donnie can't. You, Donnie's a thief. Donnie's a liar. Donnie's all of these things. Um, you know, and Mary knew a whole lot of it because Donald was in her bathroom doing what? Trying to get paid up on substance. Um, you know, she had some stuff outside. He comes back trying to steal it. Um, I mean, you know, he wasn't, you know, he was in it. I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to tell you what Dom Wells lacks. He lacks education. Donald has not ever been around anyone, anyone to teach him 
a better life or or obviously he I mean Donald Donald now has good work work ethics, right? I mean right. this is a guy this is a guy that could get up every day, go to work, make money and and you know everything, but he's got a substance problem, which means what? Means he's not going to have a window, a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of, right? Right. All of his money is going to go into substance abuse because, yep. you know, that's, that's, that's what he thinks is cool. Um, he is too. All those kids grew up around that. And he, and he also, you know, he also thinks that being in and out of jail is cool. What, what I'm saying is Donald's mind froze somewhere. It froze somewhere. In in you know in his teens, it it actually froze somewhere in his teen and and young young adulthood, his youth. His brain got froze. Don Wells did not understand that once you become a man, once you become a man, 21, 22, 23, you know, that shit ain't cool no more. Being a substance abuser isn't cool anymore. You know, uh, sucking down the liquor, talking crap, listening to loud music isn't cool anymore. Running around in a car with a bunch of boom, boom loudspeakers isn't cool anymore. You know, right. what's cool when you, when you get 21, 22, 23, I'm going to tell you what's cool. What's cool is marrying that girl that you that you dated through high school, having a family with the girl you dated through high school, having a real job, a real home, and you know, real furniture, real nice things, going out for dinner, you know, um, having all the family together at Christmases, that is what's really cool. Taking your family to church, you know, living a decent upstanding wholesome life and giving your children a better life than you have that's cool the rest of that stuff is bullshit and if you hit your 50s and 60s thinking this shit is cool man you got some fucking mental issues that really needed to be addressed years ago because that's exactly. pretty cool Actually, it's stupid. <clears throat> it, you know, you are you are like super uneducated. I don't care, you know, how educated you think your evil mind is. You don't even know. The only one you're fucking dude is yourself, right? And I know that ain't cool. You know, Pam should have took those kids when they were little and fucking ran with those kids is what she did should have done with those kids just like candace he beat on candace just like he beat on pam amen yeah Absolutely. there's even records <coughs> of donnie and pam getting into it and you know, jlr pulled those up addiction and the whole time i was at donnie uh pam's I never once seen Donnie abuse Pam. But then I realized, well, if he's going to beat on Pam, he did that to Candace. And sure enough, he slapped Candace on a lap. I don't know if it was Ziggy's or Molly's lap, but he slapped Candace on a lap. And Candace said, the whole world just seen that, Donnie. Mm. Well, and if you know, she knew that he was mean to her children and he was mean to her, why did she not take those kids and run with them? Well, I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to tell you what. Candace, you know, Candace was mean to them kids as well. 
I mean, right. we have we have witnesses. We have one witness in a grocery store that says, you know, that the boys could get stuff, but if Summer asked for something, she was getting she her wasn't hands allowed to off. Have it. Right. She wasn't allowed to have anything. We have another witness, you know, that said that they were there when one of the children tried to wake up Candace, you know, for something important. And that child just got, I mean, she come up off that bed just beating it stupid, right? And Sorry. we even have witnesses, you know, <laughs> telling that, you know, they threw hammers and stuff at one another. Um, you know, this is, is like, that where, hold up, PG, is that where Donnie had the dream of, I don't know, Summer getting I, her head beat in with I, a hammer? You know, I don't know why he says things like that. You know, I don't think that any parent, even if they thought it could actually ever bring their self to say it, you know, this is just stuff that. This is just stuff that, you know, you couldn't do. I mean, Summer's not even our child, right? She's not even our child. But I could not ever bring myself to say something like that. I mean, that is disgusting. And and how, I mean, God have mercy, right? God have mercy. I mean, even if you, you know, thought I have it, you would have to. Real bad. PG, I have anxiety really bad and depression and stuff like that, you know. And when Carl played that, it it disturbed me. That's like that guy that I was telling you about that was all over YouTube that claimed that he knew where Summer was, you know. And then Green Eyes getting up there and talking. He called Miss Smiley and told Smiley, that he knew that Candace had put Summer in a canoe and buried her on the riverside. Absolutely. You know, and for people with the the psychological problems, things like that, and that people say, that stuff runs through your mind and it disturbs you. And whenever he told who I guess it was Dolly. That he had that dream about Summer being beaten in the head with that hammer. That made me realize, well, wait a minute. You know, maybe he really did do that. And he, he's telling people that it was a dream. Right. Because he knows that if he comes out and says it straight out, hey, you know what? Candace beat my daughter's head in with a hammer. I'm not saying that that happened, but I'm saying if... If he would have told somebody the truth about that, then he knew his ass would have been in jail. Or she, he knew that she would have been in jail. Okay. And that was disturbing to me. And the right. guy that knew where Summer was and wouldn't come out and tell the police where Summer was, but he'd get on YouTube. That was disturbing. And then when... I think it was Miss Daisy that uh, they were on on Summer's birthday. Donnie was talking to Daisy. And Daisy was viewing, zooming in on somebody in the woods back there taking pictures of Summer on her swing. And some dude was hiding behind the bush. That, that is not true. TBI and law enforcement analyzed that what they tried oh, to say they? yes they did they zoomed in on that and that was nothing um but that was nothing but um like kind of like have you ever seen shadow puppets yeah you know when someone takes their hand and they make it look like a, a puppy barking or you know, different things. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, basically, you know, it was nothing but a, a, an illusion of, of the way the trees were carved and, you know, growed and stuff like that. And then the sunlight hitting through it. 
there was nothing to that whatsoever. Once they went in on it, there was no person there. That is not truth. That was that was ruled out. And the Wells know that was ruled out just like the yellow car was ruled out. Right, Donald? You guys fucking knew it. Right. And why he would allow it to pop up and be rumored out is just to keep the focus off of them. He doesn't care what's put out here as long as none of the focus is on them. They hate the focus being on them, right? Right. They it sure is do. what it is. It you is know, what and out it of is. all those years of knowing Candace, okay, and her watching Jennifer's twins that she had, okay, and Candace took care of those little girls, and or she said she did, but me and another lady had to go give those babies a bath. Because those babies stunk so bad. And they had a ring around her neck of milk. Okay. And the babies had their lungs were so full of fluid. Oh, my God. Yeah. And we had to like, I had to show Jennifer how to get that fluid out of that baby's lungs. Both of those babies, you know. Oh, my God. And I told her, you're going to have to do that several times a day. And she wouldn't listen to me. And then somehow or another, DHS got involved. And they ran, I think they ran everybody up out of there. Candace was there that day. And... It was like, wow. So right. DHS just takes these two babies. Thank God. Yeah. Wow. And I think I figured out who that little girl, who that baby's daddy was that Candace had here in Fayetteville, that little girl. Mm -hmm. I think his name was Joe John. Because she was with Joe John when... she got pregnant oh yeah because joe john wound up dying me and candace went all the way to the funeral home to see if we could view this guy's body to make sure it was really him and the guy refused to let us view his body and he said when they took that man out of that house he was already starting the natural state of process. I said, what is that? Decomposition? He said, yeah. He said, that's decomposition. And I was like, wow. So me and Candace left $10 there for the guy going towards the guy's cremation. Wow. Yeah. And, and I that think that's who that little girl belonged to was that Joe John guy. Because her and him and Candace were together for a while. Hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah. And I think that's who that little girl belonged to. And that guy wound up dying. They claim, well, his sister claimed that they had like 10 of those morphine patches on him or whatever those kind of patches are. They, I guess they were like pain patches or something. Right. And right. he had like more than 10 of those patches on him when he died. <laughs> yeah. The girl that he was living with. Yeah. The girl yeah. that he was living with found him deceased. Wow. So, yeah. so Candace was seeing somebody else's man at that time as well. No, him and Candace had already split up by the time him and that other girl got together. But him and Candace, before all that, him and Candace had been together for a while. And they had a baby? Yeah, but they were already split. Joe John was already dead whenever Candace had that baby. Oh, so you seen Candace pregnant with that baby? Yes. Oh. And when she had that baby, she gave DHS it away. took it. The baby was born with drugs in its system. 
Candace swears that she gave that baby up for adoption. No, DHS took that child. It was born with drugs in its system. Oh, do tell. Oh, yeah. Ooh. That baby was born with drugs in its system. And Candace can sit there and lie all she wants. But that baby was born with drugs in its system. So DHS took it. In Arkansas, if you have a child and the baby is born with drugs in its system, oh, no, mm -hmm. that baby's gone. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah. That baby's gone. Because they test them. I don't know about Tennessee, but I do know about Arkansas. They test the babies when they're born. And if they're born with drugs in their system, those babies are gone. Wow. And with Candace being homeless and bouncing from one house to another, oh, yeah, um, they're not going to let her keep that baby. Uh -uh. <laughs> that baby was already gone before it was even born. No, Lisa's not talking about a baby after summer. Lisa's talking about, this is Lisa Pompano. She knew the wells um, in Arkansas. Yeah. Um, Lisa's talking about before, before Candace got with Donald and they had Josie, the oldest boy. Yeah, because um, Josie was born here in Arkansas. He was born here in Fayetteville. Right. Um, Candace was originally pregnant and had a baby before that and yeah a little girl who belonged to this this other guy that ended up that ended up um dead and she gave she gave that <coughs> baby, well, she didn't give the baby up actually um child protective services took it because she had substance in and her and the baby had substance in it. The baby yeah. was born dependent upon substance. So they took the yes, baby away from her. Yes, she, didn't freely, she didn't freely give it away. It was no. taken. DHS took that child. Wow. So Candace can sit there and lie all she wants and claim that she had adoption papers signed that was a lie. They took that baby as soon as they tested that baby for drugs. Wow. She already had drugs in her system when she went in to have that baby. So they took, they tested the baby and they took the baby as soon as she was born. It wouldn't have mattered anyway because Candace didn't want her oldest daughter. That was a parent. She didn't want her oldest son. That was apparent. Wow. She, But she wanted Josie, Waylon, and Wyatt and didn't want Summer. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I believe you. I believe every word you're saying, girl. Hell yeah. Um, I have I have talked with Lisa. Lisa's Lisa is the one on panel right now. She knew the wells in Arkansas. I have talked to Lisa um, early on, and everything Lisa's told me. I'm going to tell you, Lisa tells the truth. She oh, absolutely yeah. um, because I have gotten things wrong, and she said no, no PG. It's like this. And I mean, she comes back to correct me. When people do that, you know they're honest. And, you know, Lisa has no reason. She has no dog in this race. She has no reason to come up here and say anything on truth. Um, you know, it's just that she loves Summer as much as we do. And, you know, she wants Summer to be found as much as we do as well. You know, Lisa... When they were in Arkansas, Lisa was tied up with this group of undesirables. And, you know, she was tied up with that group of undesirables, you know, and she had to straighten her life out as well. Um, 
after being around these people. So, you know, the thing is, is, you know, Lisa definitely, Lisa don't know them from being a neighbor across the street staring at them. Lisa knows them by association. And that's a lot different because she was there. She was there in the mix. She knows exactly what was being said, what was being seen because she was seeing it. She was hearing it. She was right there in it. So, you know, Lisa knows the truth. I mean, she's not a, just a nosy neighbor looking out a window. She knows the truth because she was actually there around these people believing they were you know she wanted to believe they were good and decent people as well to find out they wasn't exactly they wasn't and that's why i don't understand why all these people think that they have to support donald and candace I don't get that either. I do not. You know. Um, and to I, be I, honest with you. I never thought that Candace would be like that. Until after they started pulling up records of Candace's daughter being beat on. Like I said. I didn't know anything about Candace's two oldest kids. But I seen Candace around other children. And that's why. I couldn't figure out whenever my friend told me, she said, Lisa, look, Donnie and Candace are all over YouTube and they have a missing daughter. Wow. And I said, do what? I said, I talked to Candace three years ago. And she said, well, I'm telling you, they're up on YouTube. And I was, I got up on YouTube and I started watching all of this stuff about Donnie and Candace and how Donnie would get on panel talking horrible to all of these people. I don't know if it was because he was frustrated of what was going on and what was being said. I, I don't know. But that's like that night. You know, I didn't want to be disrespectful to you. So I, I didn't get on panel talking bad to Donnie, you know. Right. You know, I had no reason to be mean to Donnie. But he thought he could he had a reason to be mean to me. <coughs> and I he, guess that's because he couldn't figure out who I was. He was mean. He was mean, but he was being mean to anyone and everyone that was speaking the truth. I mean, Donald don't want to hear the truth. He don't want people knowing the truth about, you know, how horrible him and, you know, him and Candace, Grandice and all of them were, you know, in the past. Because your past does speak for your future if you've done nothing to change it. And they done nothing to change it. And I think whenever I was telling him the, about the, the, the situation where when DHS come and got those kids, I think that's when Donnie realized who I was. Sort of, right. kind of. Right. And, you know, the Wells have always, the Wells have always tried to keep the focus off Summer. They have always. And they have. Yeah, they did. They did with the sisters. Don loved it when when Chris M gave him, you know, gave him an out and a way to, you know, put Summer into the darkness and talk about, you know, he, if you took note, Don loved talking about the sisters. And I and I told him, I said, this ain't about them. It's about Summer. Why are we not talking about Summer? You know, I had that question to him. I said, why are you constantly talking about these sisters? Um, and he said, you know, well, the statue ran out. I ain't going to jail for that. I don't think. Can you check it out for me? 
I said, you could possibly still be going to jail because, you know, um, they, it, it has a lot to do with, you know, the age and, you know, if it's a minor, I mean, a lot of things to, you know, there's a lot of things to take in consideration if, you know, the statue's going to hold or not. Um, and so I did, I called up there to check it out with a, um, real good lawyer. I mean, one of the best, the best in that state. And, um, and, and yeah, he wasn't going to go to jail at all. It had nothing to do with, you know, anything. Once the statues ran out, it's ran out. That's just the way it is. Right. And he, and, and he knew this, right? He knew this. And basically, you know, basically what it was is he knew that this is something that, you know, I'm not going to go to prison for. And I'd rather, you know, I'd rather put all the focus on it and keep the focus off because, you know, what I'm keeping the focus off of can put someone in prison, right? Right. And he's thinking, hell, I mean, right there told me that, well, Don, if you're wanting to put all the focus on something that won't put you in prison, then what are you taking it off of? Something that can put you in prison, right? I mean, that's common fucking sense right there. That's what he doesn't want to talk about. You know, he wants Summer forgotten so that him and Candace can feel safe. They can feel safe. Well, you're not ever going to feel safe. You know, when you do a heinous crime, like your child missing, um, you're not going to ever feel safe, right? You're not ever right. going to feel safe because if that was my child, let me tell you something. If that was my child, you're damn straight. I'd be turning up every rock on that mountain just to find my child. I didn't. I wouldn't care if I had to go and dig up the neighbor's yard to find my child. I would find my child one way or the other. And when Keen just said that she would hold Summer if she found her or she stumbled up on a crime scene. Well, obviously, that tells you something that she knows. That there's a crime scene. And she didn't want to mess the crime scene up. How is that going to mess the crime scene up? Call the police and tell them where your child is. Absolutely. Don't get on YouTube making yourself, if you're not guilty, you shouldn't be on YouTube making yourself look guilty. And I don't know why Daisy turned like she did. I was told that it was because of a picture of a little child that was abused. And then all of a sudden she like turned on Summer. She was all for a summer. And then she just automatically turns. How can you do that? How can you do that to a child that's missing to listen to garbage that you've already heard on YouTube? Is it because she wants answers? Because she's not going to get those answers. Nobody else has gotten those answers. So why is she thinking that she's going to get the answers? She's not. No. And neither is anybody else. Donnie knows that he's recorded on YouTube. He knows that every YouTuber that he talks to, he's being recorded talking on the phone to. Well, so it, therefore, yeah. he's not going to have no in, the, nobody's going to have any information. Anytime, anytime you go live, you know that this live is going to be out here. I mean, it's going to be out here for like ever, right? <laughs> because, you know, like tonight, take tonight, this, this live I did tonight, right? Well, you know, you got, 
you've got like a shit ton, a shit ton of people, you know, that that wanna that wanna download it, you know. Even even if say after this live, oh, like Daisy did, like you know, her live her live a couple of days ago. She dirty deleted it. Remember that? She ran her yep. mouth and then dirty deleted it. You know, oh, yeah. but even when you dirty delete, people still have it. People still right. have it because they're downloading it as you go. You know, I mean, right. so of course, you're not only being recorded up here, but a bunch of other people are also recording this, right? Exactly. For their own personal use, you know for all different kinds of reasons right so right. you know if you have haters they're going to try to use it you know for hateful reasons if you have you know some are supporters that 100 percent support the child then you're going to have you know them using it as for our i'm talking for our channel they're going to be using it you know to to help find summer but, you know, I find you got a lot more haters than you do, you know, than you do righteous people who, you know, I find that there's a lot of people, I don't feel like for them it's about summer. I feel that, you know, it's about, they're just, you know, they got this ugly hate and it, it has nothing to do with summer. It has to do with, you know, what can I get that might get me click likes and views that might, you know, help my channel. <laughs> it's not about summer at all. Right. And, and that's disgusting. You know, that's disgusting to me. And, um, you know, but those people, they have to answer to God at the end of the day, right? They right. have to answer to God. You know, the one thing I, I love about this channel is I know God put it together for he summer. Did. You know, he put it together for summer. And, you know, this is a channel that they always say, pray together, stay together. And we have, we have from day one. And we've always been for summer, for the victim. Um, we have not ever kissed the whale's asses here. They want to come here. They'll answer the hard damn questions or they get the you know, can't stand the heat, get the fuck out of the kitchen, right? It's right. just how it goes. I mean, over here, it's about summer. You don't want to talk about summer, you got to go. We're not, you know, we ain't talking about anything else. It's all about her. You know, she's the one missing. She's the one needs found. She's the one that needs to be brought home. And she's the one that, you know, we need to get justice for, for doing this heinous thing to her. Now, you know, to me, to me, being with the victim is the right thing to do. That's, you know, I thought that's what all the people out here in true crime was about. You know, I thought they all was about supporting the victims, not the damn suspects. But, you know, being out here, you know, I've learned that that it's not about that for a lot of people. You know, they portray, they portray to be for these victims. But the second, you know, the second that they think, you know, taking on the suspects will get them click likes and views, they're willing to do that. And they're willing not to answer the, you know, ask the hard questions to get the answers that this baby needs. And to me, you know, that's turning on, that's turning on the victim, you know, for exactly. self -blame. And that's exactly what Daisy did was turned on her. Yeah. You know? And for, for no reason, just because she's seen a picture of a child that was abused. No. She turned self -game. It was on summer. It, it's self gain, self gain. She turned on this baby for self gain, for clicks, likes, views, the money, you know, um, she thinks the whales will draw in, the whales will draw in, you know, crowds for her, and and they. She and done they, lost all those subs, PG. 
every oh, one of those people that was subbed to her channel, she done and lost those. And everybody that goes into her chat, even now, she she blocks them and boots them out of there. She drops just over. because they say something about summer. The minute that they saw Candace, the minute Candace's cash app came up, she lost a hundred and some people last night. Oh yeah, all at once, all at once, the, oh, over a hundred and some people dropped off of 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 her live, and you know. Well, can you blame them? I said, hey, I said, thank God. You know, I said, thank God. At least I know, at least I know there's a hundred and some people that love Summer so much that they ain't going to sit up there and put up with this shit. At least I yeah. know that. The other you night, know. I was talking to Arctic the other night, and something was being said and I was talking to Arctic about it and she said, Oh, we'll just ignore it. You know? And I was like, ignore it. How in the hell can you ignore it? That's exactly what I thought. How can you ignore all the conversation going on and horrible stuff being thrown to you when you're up here trying to go through all of this stuff and then you get distracted by some idiot putting some junk in chat. Um, well. And then I had to get on to this guy that come into chat before you got off line. And he was running his mouth. And I told him, dude, you need to go back over the daisies. Um, I tell you why Arctic said ignore it. She said ignore it because, you know. She knows, she knows, ignore it because here in a minute, PG's going to, PG's going to handle it. Um, if PG don't, you know, um, usually, um, there's people here calling the shots. There's people here calling shots. It'll get handled. Right, it'll get handled. Arctic knows that. <laughs> yeah. It's going to get handled. But they have Daisy has no business sending those people over there from her chat to your chat <coughs> to begin with to be nosy to see what the hell's going on. All she did is send them over here. All she did to send them over here, you know, to to get booted in the ass and sent back to her, right? Yeah. I mean, and like I said, the, I didn't have nothing nice to say to that guy. Oh, no. He come on there running his mouth to you, and I was like, uh, -uh that ain't fixing to happen here, dude. You need to go back over there to Daisy, because you ain't coming over here talking to PG like that. I don't give a damn who you are. You ain't coming over here talking to PG like that. That just is not going to happen. Um, I'm going to tell you, mama, that's how they might think. They might think that they're still going to get, you know, get people, you know, get people to, but I'm going to tell you, um, don't count, don't count on that. <clears throat> don't bank on that anymore because most people sick of the wells. They've done heard, they've done heard the wells bullshit. Over and over and over. They finally are getting. People are out here. Are finally realizing. That the whales are going to not say. Anything new. They're you know. They're not going to. I mean no. No matter how much you hope. Or how much you wish that they're going to. Say something. That you know trips them up. Or or you know. Um, gives you something. For law enforcement to go on. People have already realized that the whales got it down pat and no way in hell they're going to do anything, anything. I mean, you waste your time. Like anyone, anyone in Daisy's, you wasted your time, right? Listen to, right. Dom, listen to Dom Wells last night upon Daisy's channel was nothing but a waste of your fucking time. 
it's a time when you could have been watching. You'd have got more out of a damn good movie <coughs> than you got out of that. You'd have got more out of a good book than you got out of that. You'd have got more out of a phone call to someone you loved or cared about than you got out of that. You got right. nothing out of that. What you got was your fucking time wasted that you will not ever get back. That's what you got. And I don't waste my time because my time on this earth is precious. Right? It's precious. Exactly. And there is people, there is people around you that count on you, that need you, and that and that time could be better spent with. Do you realize the other day, shit. it was like a couple of days ago, Nano's Angels come on, right? And mm -hmm. she was talking about how something about how she wanted to know how many people thought that Candace was guilty and how many people that Candace thought was innocent. And out of all of those people that she had on there, every one of those but one person thought that Candace and Donnie were guilty. Right. Every right. one of them but one person. Well, let me tell you something. So that ought to tell you something. All the neighbors... All the neighbors. Now, listen, law enforcement. <laughs> this is not funny, but it is. Let me tell you what happened in Tennessee. All the people, you know, were asked to check their property. Um, you know, when they thought summer wandered off, they were. They were. But once rumor went around, you know, once rumor went around, um, that, you know, who the law enforcement, what law enforcement really thought, um, then people, people quit searching, right? Yeah. Pretty much quit, you know, oh, my goodness, you know. Um, so, anyhow, with that being said, um, then people, you know, everybody, everybody was whispering, um, neighbor to neighbor, you know, when you're in the crowd, you know, the crowd of, of people here and there, um, the grocery store, um, the church, you know, when you're, when you're out and you're running in the crowds, um, Sunday dinners, you know, stuff like that. They're telling each other. You know, you go down, you go down Ben Hill Road, um, go all up and down it, and, you know, actually go anywhere in that area. Just go anywhere in that area, because everybody's heard about summer in the area. And outside the area, not so much, because, you know, the wells weren't hanging up flyers. Wasn't passing them out either. So, so you know, some people don't know. There was a lot early on that didn't. Um, but, you know, ask the people and they and they and they'll tell you who they suspect and, and who law enforcement suspects, too. And it's right there. One Ten Ben Hill Road. Don and Candace. Well, yeah. Road. You know, grandest. But listen to this. Law enforcement's getting a lot of calls, tips here, tips there. Most of them is upon the wells and the things the wells are saying. Ha <laughs> ha, right? That's a good one. But wow. then they start getting calls from the neighbors. What does the neighbors want? Can you come out here and check our property? Because we don't trust these son of a bitches. We, we got a feeling they might try, <laughs> right? They might try. To plant something to try to make them look guilty. This is how worried well, yeah. these people got about the wells. And, you know, and these phone calls, you know, started coming through. Why did they start coming through? Because the wells are up there burning a bunch of shit, right? Right after right. Don gets out of jail, right after some some important information came out. Um, they start burning everything, you know, and acting all weird up there. And they're, you know, 
there's a lot of stuff going on up there. Um, undesirable people coming and going. Um, there's a lot going on. So, you know, point being is, This is, you know, this is what's happening there, right? This is what's happening in the area. So, you know, if you think, and then Daisy's supporting. She's actually supporting what? She's supporting the reason these people want law enforcement to come and check their, their residence so that nothing can come back on them later. Law enforcement can say, yeah, it was planted because we checked and they were not nothing here before. Right. And and this is what she's she is supporting is is what the whole damn community is afraid of. What the right. whole damn community doesn't trust and what the whole damn community thinks, you know, believes is guilty as fucking hell. Yeah, there you go. But and deep that, down inside, is what this woman Daisy. is supporting, right? Right. And this whole but I know deep down inside, Miss Daisy, she knows that those people are guilty. And this whole community, you know, this whole community, what are they doing? They're supporting Summer. They're supporting right. the victim. They're right. they're hoping law enforcement gets their shit together and gets something done with this case, right? Right, and I think they're going to do it after CPS does away with the rights to those boys. Exactly. Then they're going to move in on them. I think so, and too. And I think that's exactly why Donnie and Candace is wanting to move back here to Arkansas or Utah or wherever they're supposedly supposed to be moving back to. Right. That's exactly why. Because they know that TBI is fixing to move in on them. It's time to get that ass out of Dodge. Yep. It sure is. And they'll take grandest dirt with them. Oh, you know, and that's another thing. That's you got what to Ronnie think called about. grandest dirt. That's another <laughs> thing. Grandest dust. That's another thing you got to think about because let's go back. Let's go back to the beginning of all of this. Do Does everyone remember? Put a one in the chat. If everyone remembers that every time Candace was at one of those church church socials or vigils for summer, Grandis wasn't in town, but she was up on the phone. Put a one in the chat if you remember she was on the phone. Everywhere yep. Candace seemed to be she or sure was. Candace seemed to go, she was hanging on that phone from beginning to end. Oh, she sure yeah. was. Except oh, for a yeah. few of the vigils. Now, Grandis was a few of the vigils. Now, what there. was what was Granny? What was Granny concerned about? What was Granny trying to control? What was she felt that she had to control? That she had to she be on that control phone nothing constantly because she couldn't keep her own damn daughter from killing Summer. Let me tell you something, um, Granny, Granny. Granny was sitting up in the house 24-7 too. Granny was always looking into the house. Constantly looking into the house. Candace had her always up on a computer or a phone or something. Even when Candace was talking to all of them other ladies and them supporters and everything. Grandis was right there listening, hearing and seeing into that house. Everything that went on. There ain't one person. <coughs> that Candace talked to. That Grandis didn't hear every word of it. Right. And she's probably doing that now that she's down there in that shed. Donnie done and moved her skanky ass. Way off down the hill. From them. So she can't be so nosy. Exactly. Exactly. She is still got her nose stuck in it fully, right? Well, yeah. She still got that nose 
stuck in it. And I'm going to tell you, the night she went mayhem, remember the night she went mayhem? You yeah. know, F and PG, I mean, she really showed the real. Oh, I was waiting um, for that. Oh, my God. The real bitch ass old lady she is. Yeah. She went on mayhem and shit. I'm going to oh, tell yeah. you something. That wasn't because of the information about her daughter, Rose. That's because I keep Summer in the spotlight. It's well, why doesn't she get... If she's that concerned about where Rose is and what happened to Rose, why ain't she got her ass on YouTube? She want to sit there in the background hollering and screaming and having her little fit, but her ass damn sure ain't coming up on YouTube to defend her granddaughter, is she? Oh, hell no. No. She won't do it. No. Let alone to defend her own daughter. You know what Grandis had to say? And, oh, Summer, too. Now, you know, I've been thinking about that. You know, it bothered me a lot. It's bothered me a lot. That Grandis, you know, on that, that particular interview you know she did she said you know the kids came out you know and carried this he helped carry the stuff into her trailer and then she had summer there you know she had summer there and she's like as if she had forgotten about her and oh i need to add her i need to add yeah. her to this. um the whole situation um, Somebody said that she said, could, you could see Grandis reading some kind of script in her glasses. She also said, um, as well, she also said, I think it was, you know, Warriors um, Pond that they went swimming. You know, she was detached. She was detached from... You know, what I'm saying is the way she was talking, she was not there. She right. was, because she was too detached from it. I mean, if right. you were there, you wouldn't be that disattached. I mean, if you're there, you would know what the hell it is. Not think, but you would know. How did Grandis get home if Summer or uh, Candace had Grandis's truck? How the hell did Grandis get home? Um, I don't think what I'm saying is I don't I think she I'm I'm thinking that I'm thinking that Grandis Candace left Grandis somewhere while they went to Warriors Park. Now where she left her I don't know, but or else Candace dropped or else Candace dropped Hunter and Summer off at Warriors Pond and then you know her and Grandis went somewhere else and you know so Grandis you know might have been you know reading something or busy doing something she didn't take note to where Candace was letting them out and where you know because sometimes old people do that shit right Right. Sometimes old people do that shit. So I, I just know. I mean, if it was for a split second to pull in, like let the kids out and then leave again, um, maybe she. But however it was, it sounds like she was, you know, wasn't wasn't really there. So she she you know she she was thinking, not knowing. And if you're there, you're going to know. Because she's been there a thousand times before, right? That's like number one place they go. Right. Right. You know, so that's a great big red flag for June 15, 2021 as well, right? That's a great big right. red flag. <laughs> and the thing is, is every time these people speak, you learn something new. You learn, you're learning something new. 
You're learning that they're fucking liars. You're learning they had a script that they can't even keep to, right? Because when you're lying, you you can't remember everything and therefore you can't keep to the script. So it exactly, keeps and that's what Donnie does. If he you're tends telling, to forget what he says. Right. And when you're telling the truth, it's always the same. Why? Because it's the truth. You know the truth. You know the truth. You made up a lie. And when you make shit up, you end up getting busted, right? You end up getting yeah. caught in that line. And, you know, here's what, you know, here's what I was told when I was a child. And I will ever forget it. I was told that when I said one day, you know, What's the problem with lying? People do it all the time. Well, I got told what the problem with lying was. The problem with lying is when you tell a damn lie, then you have to tell another lie to cover up that lie and another one to cover up that one and another one to cover up that one. And before you know it, the first half of your lies are gone. You're only up to where you're remembering. And you're fucked and you get caught in it. So it's right. best to always tell the truth. Because when you tell the truth, you know the truth. It is the truth. You know, if you got punishment coming, you know you took your punishment. Your punishment's over and you can move on with your life. Right? right. And you get to move on with God. You don't have to sit there and, you know, and... and play on the devil's playground until you end up getting the punishment that's coming. All you're doing is delaying the punishment that you could have just took and moved on and not felt so bad, you know, because now you didn't only get the punishment, but you know, you're a big fucking liar on top of it. And you got the embarrassment and the ass whooping or sent to your room or whatever the punishment's going to be. You had to take that as well. So, you know, at least if you tell the truth, there's no shame in your game. And you went ahead and took your punishment, right? Right. It's the best way to live. It's the best way to live, you know? So, you know, me and some of my, you know, some of my family was playing and there was an adult walked up and the adult said some, you know, how adults are. Want to jump on kids, right? Because right. they don't want the way you're, you're playing or the way you're kicking the ball. Maybe coming too close to their fence or too close to their stuff or their car. Anyway, we had an adult that popped up and, you know, had something to say and I had something to say back, right? Mm -hmm. So when I was asked, you know, because that adult comes knocking on your door. When you're a kid and you say something nasty to an adult, you know, they come knocking at your door. They know they can't hit you, but they figure they're going to get your parent to, right? And um, when I was asked, I just told them, yeah, I did. Yes, I did. And and I don't regret it. You should have heard what they said to us, right? Should have heard right. what came out of his mouth. So, you know, luckily, I didn't get an ass whipping. I didn't get anything. Actually, my dad was laughing too hard to do anything about it. He kind of pissed the neighbor off, too, to be <laughs> honest. But, you know, the truth works, right? Two yeah. wrongs didn't make it right. But he, sometimes adults are in the wrong as well. Now, had I lied, had I lied and then got caught up in that lie, and let me tell you about my family. They would have snitched. They would have snitched. 
definitely. I ain't going to give them that pleasure. I wasn't giving them that pleasure. Man, I tell you something about family. They fuck you first, right? right. So I wasn't about to give them that pleasure. So, you know, but had I lied, I probably would have got punished. I have a question. Did they ever take <laughs> Donnie and Candace in the interrogation room and interrogate them? Hell no. No, absolutely. Well, that's what they should do. You know, when they, when, well, when law enforcement called the Wells in to talk with them and everything, they were under the impression that, you know, this is like the next day after Summer came up missing, right? This was the next day. So, you know, this is parents that, you know, supposedly got, possibly got this baby out there in a wooded area lost. They're, they're handling them with kid gloves, right? Right. But after a few days when they came back, I don't think they were being treated with kid gloves anymore and they didn't like it. And that's when they started giving law enforcement all the shit, right? Especially Candace. Candace gave law enforcement more shit than anybody else did. Like Donald, oh, wow. Donald is a person, Donald's thick faced and thick skinned. And right. Donald, you know, Donald thinks he can. Donald will try to talk his way out of anything. Absolutely. Donald's one of those people that, you know, I mean, he'll stand up. This guy is a, knowing he's lying like a fucking bearskin rug, right? He'll still stand up and he'll tell that damn line. He, because he's got the audacity to do that. And you know, Grandis is the same way. Grandis is an old bat that you know. You this bitch is like in the army, right? This is like one of army bitches. Um, she right. be running up, you know, lying through her fucking old teeth as well, and and not thinking nothing of it. But Candace, huh? -uh. Candace ain't so great. Candace, Candace believes when people look at her, they know when she's fucking lying, and they pretty much do. Right? Oh, so, you know, she tries real damn hard. To just avoid having to talk to law enforcement altogether. I mean, Candace knows that, you know, these people are way more educated than her. They deal with bitches like that every day. And they are yeah. going to read her ass like a a freaking old book, right? Oh, and man, I could it. just see it on YouTube. I, I could just see them filming Candace in an interrogation room. And putting it on YouTube for the whole world to see. The whole world. I could mm -hmm. just see that. <laughs> just like Dr. Phil did. I try to get Donald to go on Steve Wilco. And I told I know him. And he won't go because he knows. Hey. He already knows. He's going to. Fail that lie detector test. Girl, he told so me. So is Candace. He told well, they won't be able to detect Candace because she's got that uh, that defibrillator in her. Well, you know, I told him that. Hey, you and her's a package deal. You pass it, and I pretty much believe she might be telling the truth as well, right? I said, right. hey, at least at least at that point, we could. We could get behind you, start looking in other areas. You know what? Man, he and ran he from that. It. Hell no, he won't do it. And when he wouldn't do it, you know what that tells me? Burn. He's lying. You're lying. You're lying, dude. Yep. Um, you know, you're a piece of shit. You can pull the wool over everyone else's eyeballs, but you ain't gonna do it to me. Right. You know. Take that ass, because I know if I had a missing kid and it really was missing, I had nothing to do with it. It really was. Let me tell you something. 
I don't give a damn. I go on Dr. Phil, take light. I go on Doc on freaking Steve Wilco, man. I'd be anywhere and everywhere. Anybody give me private freaking, you know, give me private lie detectors test. I don't give exactly. a damn. Exactly. And they won't do it. I mean, they know that they're going to fail that test. If, if you, the people, if you, the people don't believe me, pay for the lie detectors test. Tell me where to show up at, and by God, I'll be there. Exactly. All I want is your help finding my child. I don't right. want and your see, sympathy. I don't want your money. I don't want a damn thing. What I want is your help. Find, put the boots on the ground and help. That's all I would ask. Exactly. And see, you Detective know? Pruitt even come on TV and said that they know that summer's close by. Amen. Absolutely. So Absolutely. they know. That is the truth. That is the truth. You know, time's running out tonight. Um, I've done been here. Um, we've been here. We've been here for almost four hours. It seems like a few minutes, but it has been four hours. Um, and like I said, I'm sorry. I am really, really tired. Um, I'm dealing with a lot in my background, but it's important to be here too. It's important that we congregate here for summer. We need to congregate here and let, you know, let these people that are supporting suspects know that that is not, that is not the kind of society that we want. And we are not going to tolerate that kind of society to be out here in this world with us. We are going to stand strong for the victims. And if you are not for the victims, then you shouldn't be out here at all. Because this is about the victims, not the suspects. This ain't about supporting suspects. This is about supporting the victims, being a voice for the voiceless. And when people can't do righteously, then, you know, it's our job to put our suits of armor on and make sure that that, that, that dirty evilness gets kicked out of the way. We have got to show people we don't want we don't want this happening again and again and again. People looking for support that do ugly things, you know. We cannot support evilness. That's what I'm trying to say. We cannot support evilness. You know, these people have not been cleared. They they are on the radar. They are on the radar. And number one, listen, let's remember number one, suspects. And we cannot support this. We cannot allow it to be supported in the midst of us as well. If, if you're not going to be out here doing righteously and supporting the victims and being the voice for the voiceless, then, you know, you have no business being out here at all. Because that isn't what this is about. And, and I can't stress that enough. Because we do not want to send a signal out there to other people. We don't want to send a signal out there to other people that they could possibly do something like this and be supported for it. We don't want to do that. Right. We've already got one missing little girl that we are busting our asses to keep out here in the spotlight. To try to keep law enforcement looking to find her, bring her home. And we are praying. We are praying that God brings her home back so we know what happened and we can get justice for her. Most of all, we just want her found. We just want her found, and she's no longer with us. We want to lay her to rest so that she can have peace and everyone else can have peace and closure as well. That's what we really want. Nothing more, nothing less. But we do not want any more of this on our hands. So please, stop supporting suspects. 
It's got to stop. It's got to stop. We need to support the victims. The victims are the ones that we're supposed to be here for. Nothing more, nothing less. And you oh, know, OPG, I got all of those tie-dyed t-shirts done. Oh, really? Yep. That's sweet, girl. If you want one, just put it on Messenger to where it don't go to. Just send it. I'll, I'll send it to an address, not yours. Just text me on Messenger, and I won't give anybody an address or anything because I don't even give out phone numbers. So, if you want some for you and the girls, then I'll just send them to y'all. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you about it behind the scenes. Okay. I'll talk to you about it on, uh, on Facebook Messenger. Um, anyway, we're going to call it a night. I think we've done well here tonight. I think, you know, we've, we've sent the message that we are not going to tolerate this, you know, this bullshit of supporting suspects. I think that, you know, we've seen here tonight that, you know, Candace running her mouth that she's going to come over here. And she indeed did not come over here at all. <clears throat> she's not going to come over here at all. She can sit at Miss Daisy's, run her um, fucking mud flaps and talk big shit, right? She can talk big shit over there. She's safe <laughs> over there. She's and safe she over there, right? She won't even come up over here. He's over there where, where people are getting blocked and, and timed out and everything else. Um, you know, if they even speak. They're going to run out of subscribers over there. So, you know, she feels all safe and shit over there. God knows she, she does not have the ass to come here. Because Candace does not want to answer the hard questions, which she knows will be asked, right? Oh, well, will yeah. be asked. And, you know, and Don don't want to, Don don't want to come here as well because he don't want to answer the hard damn questions also, you know. Right. Um, he went and hid a well after he said, pinned it, right? After he fucked up and said tended um it was intended what was, what was tended to happen which was pre-planned you know he went and hid like a like a fucking coward for a while saying oh you know using the court date where summer's reward fund got took he tried to act like you know it was he used to stay off of youtube and all of this um no that didn't happen what you did is went and hid <laughs> because you knew law enforcement was about right. to ask you some questions about that little subject. And I'm not so sure that they're not going to. Um, I'm sure they are going to get around to asking about that little that little incident there. So, you know, he thinks he's in the clear, but Don, you're not. Law enforcement takes a while to get everything together. And call you in to get that shit done. They've got other fish to fry before you. So there you go. But at some point they're going to fry your ass over that one. Um, so keep coming out here talking. Because that's what we want you to do. Um, and I personally don't give a damn where you're talking. That. You know I thought Daisy was cool and everything. I thought that you know she was just you know. I, I really thought she was just you know going along with some shit to get them talking and, you know, leading them on. And I tried to talk to her behind the scenes, you know, because I thought, like I told her, you know, I didn't think she's that stupid. And, uh, and, you know, she disappointed me. She disappointed me as if she is that damn stupid. And I, at that point, I was like, you know, um, if, you know, if that's the way it is and and you're really going to be supporting these damn suspects, then go fucking do that little thing. You know, 
it ain't going to work out so well for you. I mean, I don't know what you got in your head, hon, but you might might want to get rid of that and, you know, stick with God and the, and the righteous side. But no, she went running over there to, you know, the evil, you know, the evil shit. And, you know, don't expect to get nothing. Let me tell you, evil attacks evil. You send out evil, it will come home to you. You do evil, evil will will devour you. Um, it, it just is what it is, right? You get back what you put out. You put out righteousness, you're going to get righteousness back. You put out love, you'll get love back, right? That's right. Some people say, PG, I put out love and I get hate. Um, no. No, yeah, you might get hate. You might get hate, you know, from a person that you was looking for love from. Maybe that's so. But what you don't understand is when you put out that love, there was people around those people that seen it and they're the ones that will send love back to you. Don't always, it's not about the person you're sending it out to. It's about the fact that, you know, it's going to come back to you sometimes in a different way. Maybe not the way you're looking for it. That's the way you were looking for it. But that wasn't the way it came back to you. But it did come back. It did come back, right? Exactly. And, and it's going to come back to Miss Daisy. And, you know, so... You know, I don't send out hate. I send out righteousness and people see it as hate. Right? They see it as right. hate. And, that, and that's their problem. That's their problem. You know, I don't need to be nice to evilness. I don't even want that shit around me. Right? I don't want it around me. And And however I have to, you know, however I have to run it off, I'm willing to run it off that way. I mean, if it's, it's like you have to scoop down to the low, low for a second to run it off, then, hey, let's scoop down, run it off. And I can always come back up on my level. You know, I can do that. So we all can. We all can. Daisy needs to change her, her channel from crime critters on the farm to as the world turns. When I told her that the other night, she didn't like that idea. Um, but it's true. That's what she needs to change her channel to. Ziggy V. Ziggy V was really close with Daisy. Um, Daisy and I was real close. Now she won't talk to me since the Wells. Because I told her I would not ever side with the Wells. Now she hates me. Um... No, Ziggy. Um, that that isn't that isn't the problem. The problem is is you told the truth. You told the truth about about the wells, and Daisy Daisy knows that it's going to be a conflict of interest now. To have to have you to have you um, in the chat on her channel, and basically, to be honest with you, I remember when when Daisy fought, and just like she is for the whales now, she fought for you, and she sucked everything she could out of you. She got all the click likes views. The money, the super chats, all the shit out of you. She used you. She used you just like she's trying to use the wells now. Daisy is 100% behind whoever can whoever can get her the click likes, views, and, and the money flowing through. That is what this woman is about. That's what she's well, about. Well, I was sub to her until her. you and her got into it that night. And then whenever she, I figured out that she'd turned it on Summer, you know, 
I I put it in chat, a couple of chats, because we were all in chat talking, and something had been brought up about Daisy, and I was like, look, you know, Daisy done and fell into a trap, and then one of the girls had something posted up there, a long live or whatever it was, and I, I wasn't being mean about it, you know? And then Daisy's trying to call me out in chat. So the next day, I write up on her her little comment thing, you know? I wasn't trying to be mean. Right. But if she wants me to be mean, then I can be mean. And I can be really harsh about it. So, you know, I don't think that if I was her, I'd be pulling anybody out of chat. Even pointing them out of chat. She did that with Trevor, too. Yep. You know? Mm -hmm. She she called him out in chat. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't being mean about it or nothing like that. I wasn't trying to run her down. You know, I was just saying, hey, you know what? The well's got you right in their trap. Right. You know, and mm -hmm. but all of a sudden I was being mean to her. So we were in chat the other here. I guess it was a couple of weeks ago. But anyway she was talking about that dumpster diving stuff and then all of a sudden I, she was talking about how donnie would go dumpster diving with him and i said donnie probably wouldn't go dumpster diving anyway <laughs> y'all may as well just back that truck up to the dumpster and then she's like she calls me out in chat and i'm thinking i i i really need to stay off that panel because i really want to go up there on that panel because at that point, what I had to say to her, I was being nice to her. But when she started calling me out in chat like that, for no apparent reason, telling me that I was being hateful towards her in comments. I wasn't being hateful towards her. Go back and read those comments. That wasn't hateful. No. If that was hateful, I don't know what the hell it was. It, it just. I, I told her on a comment, I said, look. You're the one that sat right there and talked shit about Donnie and Candace. Then all of a sudden, you turn on them. Go read that 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 deal where I put that deal up there on her the other day. No, she's not going to call me out in chat like that. Whenever I'm being honest, and she's sitting here trying to talk a bunch of garbage about Donnie and Candace, but all of a sudden, she flips it around, and then everybody's in chat talking about the dumpster diving. <laughs> but yeah, she calls me out in chat like <laughs> I did something wrong. Um, <laughs> and I wish she would have come up on that panel tonight because let me tell you something. That woman would not have ever wanted to come back upon that panel again. <laughs> Denny said date night. Dumpster diving. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> that bitch can go get stuck in a dumpster. I know. I <laughs> <laughs> and what? Daisy, you fucking fat cow. I <laughs> hope that you heard every word I fucking said. Because, bitch, let me tell you, you want to call somebody out in a fucking chat? Then I can get up on that panel with you. I promise you, I'm not scared. I'm not Candace. I don't have to go run and hide behind a <laughs> <I'm> fucking man. <laughs> yeah, you know something? Exactly. And, you know, tomorrow night, God willing. Is that bitch in back chat? Because I hope she is. <laughs> nope. She uh, she gave up back chat. <laughs> she, she must have fell asleep. She must have took her medicines. All <laughs> right. Fell asleep. She must have. She stood up there and lied about falling asleep on me. She's such a liar. Um. She actually said she had to take a double dose of her medication. I was actually worried about her, you know, double doses. And I even went up on her panel and, you know, she said that she didn't have the money to go to the doctor. And I was like, you know, people need to help and support and get Daisy to a doctor. But I'm going to tell you something. Um, I know, I know the, you know, I know what her husband does for a living and they got plenty of damn money and they got plenty of, you know, then and, why is she on YouTube 
trying to make money off of these missing children. And they definitely have insurance. And I'm going to tell you something. Um, Cause she's sucking it for all it's worth. I mean, she uses the money, you know, to buy more animals for her farm and, and uses the money to, to go on big shopping sprees and her and Jinkies get out and run all over the place. I mean, you know, well, why don't they go get them, stuck in dumpsters for a change? Just giving her a shitload of spending money. I mean, trust me, Daisy and her old man and them, they're not hurting. But they'll tell you that they are. You know, the people out here, some of the people donating to them, and that's what makes me angry, is some of the people donating to them, that is their last money. People donating to them you know, are going to have a hard time. They're giving Daisy 50 bucks, and that 50 bucks, you know, was their medicine money. That 50 bucks was, you know, their extra food at the end of the week. When they go to the store, they're getting way less so she can get way more. Um, It's bullshit. It's bullshit. You know, you don't do that. You don't put up cash apps, Venmo's, and PayPal's, and run a thing across your screen, constantly reminding people, give me, give me, give me, give me. I mean, you're well, you don't do that, PG. There ain't nothing up on that screen, and never has been, about Venmo and Cash App and this and that. People's donated because they wanted to. I tell Not because you're up there begging for money. And that's pretty damn bad whenever you can go on YouTube begging all these people for all that money, Absolutely. especially... On a missing child. I'm going to tell you something. That's pretty bad. If people, you know, if people, here's how I feel. If people want to help and they want to, you know, help and they want to support Summer's channel, there is a cash app, or not a cash app, but a um, super chat and a super sticker. It's the two things that, you know, the two things. That helps support this channel. Those are the two things. That help support this channel. And if they want to help. Righteously help. Summer's channel. Then you know. It's greatly appreciated. But as I tell everyone. In this. In this chat over here. If you do not have it. And the Lord is not putting it upon you to help. Please don't. If the Lord is not putting it upon you and you do not have it, please do not give it. As I always said, God put this channel together for summer, you know, and I know that somehow it's going to keep going no matter what. It'll keep going. You know, if I run into a situation where, you know, possibly I'm going to be shut down for a while, then I will ask, I will let you know, and I will ask for help. But if it's, right. not, you know, if it's not something that is greatly needed to keep this channel going, I will not ask for anything. And I do not expect nothing. As I say, you know, if God wants you to give, he'll put it on your heart to do so. If he doesn't, don't. You know, what I really want out of everyone in this chat, and this is the God's honest truth, what I want out of you. I want you to be the best people in this world you can be. Because I want to see you forever one day. And I want you to just pray for Summer. Pray that God lets us find her. And when you pray, I want you to pray with faith. Because without faith is an empty prayer. I need your faith to go up to God. And when you ask, know he's going to answer us. Because that's what's going to bring this baby home. That's what I ask. And I ask you to pray for one another. Because that's what we're supposed to do in the name of Jesus. That's what I ask from all of you. Nothing right. more, less. 
That's Gigi, you I, need to go take care of those babies. Absolutely, girl. Absolutely. I got a lot going on. and But you know what? We all love Summer. We love her. And we got to be here for her. We got to be here for. Yeah, but your kids come first, though, PG. Hey, girl, I'm taking care of mine. I'm taking care of mine. I I got it under control. <sighs> Hopefully, you know, at least right right now at this second, you know. Sometimes you got to stick things in God's hands. Know God's with you, and it's all going to be okay, right? Right. Got to keep that. Got to keep that girl, and, and I just can't let go of it right now. So, right. you know, it has been a good life tonight. Please remember, Summer's the victim. She's the one that has no voice that we need to be a voice for. We are Summer's voice. Please make sure, please make sure that, you know, that we keep, we got to fight we have got to fight to keep, you know, this this world out here called true crime. We got to fight to keep it for the victims. We can to support the victims. We cannot allow it to become a devil's playground for the suspects to come and get support and the victims be put in the dark. Please don't let that happen. That ain't what this is about. That's all I'm asking. And that's why I'm here tonight. To remind everyone. Who the real victim is. Who needs the real support here. Summer Moon Utah Wells. A five year old child. That can't help itself. We need to help her. Let's remember that. Let's remember she's the one that went through the fear, the pain, and all of what came with her coming up missing. No one else did. She did. Let us remember that before we go supporting a couple fucking suspects. Those are the people that we don't want to support. All right, everybody. As I ask, please, please, please pray for Summer. Just pray for Summer. Pray for one another. Keep my sweet Norway in your prayers. Please keep my sweet Norway in your prayers. Beautiful sunflower. Keep her in your prayers as well. Uh, I, <laughs> Wolf Angel, I see that you um, that you already put up for beautiful sunflower. God bless. And um, but most of all, please pray for Summer. Please, we need to find her, and we ain't going to do it. We ain't going to do it by calling no fucking suspects. We're going to do it by staying on law enforcement and letting law enforcement know how much we love and care about this baby and how much we want her found and brought home. And if they don't do it for no other reason, please do it for us. Find her. That's what we got to do. I appreciate you coming up here tonight, Lisa. You're welcome. God bless, girl. And uh, God bless y'all. I'll hit you up in chat tomorrow um, on, on Facebook. Okay. All right, girl. Much love. God bless. All right. Much love to y'all. All right. I'm going to play Summer Song out as we do every night. And I can already see the hearts and all the beautiful things going up to support her. God bless. Good night, everybody. Good night. <laughs>